So you've been to a Bass Pro Shop, but you haven't been to a Tractor Supply. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, a Tractor Supply is a little bit like a Bass Pro Shop. Do you like the experience of going to a Bass Pro Shop? I find hunting animals broadly distasteful, but yeah. what I do like is the colors of a Bass Pro Shop. I like sure. being in there and there's all the like weird equipment and shit. That's quite enjoyable. Uh, there's a... Uh, there's... I don't find hunting animals distasteful in, in any other way than the sort of coincidental political alignment with people who hunt animals. Right. Um, you know, I don't I don't think that it's worse to kill a deer than to buy beef at a supermarket. I How, think it's probably better. However. <laughs> <laughs> however. And here's the trick. I think also coming from the UK where hunting is primarily associated with fox hunting, which is just an animal sport. It's just oh, a blood sport. gruesome. Yeah, absolutely um, a blood sport. Terrible. And the opposite of killing a deer and eating venison for two weeks. No, no, it, it's 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 grim as hell. I was in Memphis once. Uh, grim, you said it's grim as hell. The purple guy from McDonald's. It's grim as hell. It's his hell. <laughs> no, fucking get him. Um, <laughs> I was in Memphis once for a very short period of time, and in addition to having some absolutely incredible barbecue, seconds. I was in Memphis for forty seconds. No, what what's the place I've been in the shortest? That's notable. Uh, for me, it's, um, oh, for me, it's Denver. I've been in Denver for very short periods. I very nearly got stuck in Denver during a winter storm. That was very bad. Anyway. I very nearly got stuck in Denver during a summer storm last oh, year. it's the Evil Brothers again. It's the Evil <laughs> Brothers, yep. Uh, they have in Memphis the Bass Pro Pyramid. Are you familiar with this, Keith? Uh, I am familiar with the Bass Pro Pyramid, yeah. I did not go. Because when we were there, we were very exhausted. We were driving across the country from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles. And we said to ourselves, no, we don't need to do this. And it is absolutely one of those things that, in hindsight, was just the wrong decision. Yeah. Because that thing has a fucking swamp inside it. There's, like, real fish swimming around. There's, like, creatures. It's yeah, very it's like exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Mall of America, but for people who drive pickup trucks in the city. Yes, you and I both have a pretty... Which are, wait, sorry, to be fair, Mall of America is also for people who drive pickup <laughs> trucks in the city. Sorry, go ahead, Jack. You and I, uh, uh, we, we're not terribly pro... I would say we're very pro malls on Friends of the Table. <laughs> yes, right. I would absolutely we're... go to the Mall of America just once, just to see what yeah. it's like. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, a uh, tractor supply you can buy chicks in. right. And that's pretty good. Anyway, sorry, yeah, over across the pond, we call them we call it picking up chicks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use the across the pond humor with me anymore. We are on the same side of the pond, even more uh, so than before. I think that's I think that makes it funnier because it's not it's a different thing. Oh, Keith, they gave me my social security number the other day. Wow, congratulations! Now you can. Get, collect social security? Uh, I uh, ooh, I don't know about that. I think they they didn't give me a good one. It's uh it's Oh, it's 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 high up. It's it's got a stamp on it that says not valid for work without DHS authorization. People in chat are asking me what it is. It's 7229. I'm not doing my actual. Oh, that's funny. Mine's 0450991292. <laughs> And no one will know whether that's real. Delivered in the tone of voice with a man who has who has dangled <laughs> the sword uh, above his head so many times. Yeah. With how many digits of my credit card I've said on a stream, you'll, you have no idea how much, if any, if the whole thing of that is my social security number. Uh, uh, yeah, we just need your mother's maiden name and your date of birth and uh, what's other identity? Hey, my date of birth is public. That's public. That's on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, we're here to play Crusader Kings today. Uh, how do we sound, chat? More importantly, how do we sound Keith ducking into the uh, recording? Oh, let's see. Let's see how that is. How do we sound chat? Uh, let's see. I don't hear us at all. Oh, that's entertaining. Have you maybe got us muted? Um, well, let me just refresh Twitch. Chat says we sound yeah. good, but they're just lies. 
huh, that's so funny. I obviously we're audible because of, oh, I know what it is. I was using my fancy music amp and discord is good about sticking. Yeah, there we go. Keith, can you put us through a chorus pedal? I could. Yeah. Give me, give me six minutes. <laughs> uh, we sound good. We sound good. Great. Um, I'm so excited to come back to Crusader Kings. Uh, it, it's been 28 days since we last played Crusader Kings. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's been three or maybe four. Uh, yeah, it's been, yeah, it feels like it, it happened last week. I feel like this happened just last week. I was named King. Co-King. I get uh, the weeks just move so quickly. The older and older I get. <laughs> I would love, I would love, uh, it, the problem is, you know, uh, I haven't had a full day job in a little bit, um, but I remember, you know, as if it was yesterday, waking up on a Monday and having that same excruciating, oh my God, this whole fucking week is ahead of me feeling that I had when I was a kid in school. And, you know, remember when you're a kid and they make you do a full-time job going into school? It's, uh, yes, it's one of the worst things. <laughs> it, it is, however, uh, very important to learn how to count and read. Right. Yeah, I think that there's I think there's a way to split that difference. Um, <laughs> uh, so that that feeling of the week dragging on and oh, my God, every minute is excruciating. I felt that as an adult. But unlike a kid where the summer felt like it lasted forever, uh, none of the fun times feel like they last long those ones go by in the blink of an eye no it's only the bad parts that last seem like they go on and on and the thing is i i don't feel like that cheapens the experience it just happens uh, the the i don't enjoy the summer any less i just it just happens very quickly <laughs> right well it cheapens it as it, it, it temporally it cheapens it do you remember it felt, a summer used to last a whole summer and now it barely lasts a month and a half it barely lasts a month and a half. It's over just as quick as lightning. And winter takes about as long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Winter is still the full three months. I remember, I mean, I feel like it is one of the things that people say with such regularity as they get older. And neither of us yeah. are very old. But do you remember when summer used to last forever? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it used to last forever. Still, least this winter is five months long, actually. That was great. What was your favorite thing to do in the summer? Um, I lived, I was very lucky in a lot of ways. And one of the ways that I was lucky, uh, I was lucky in one very important way, which is that my grandparents were rich. And all the ways that I was lucky had to do with that one way. That's one of the great ways to be lucky. <laughs> the, one of the classics. And they, <laughs> they lived right next door and they had an absolutely wonderful swimming pool. And I spent basically the whole summer for my entire childhood swimming in that pool multiple hours a day, three to five days a week. God, being in a pool rules. It's one of the kinds of exercise that I can trick myself with. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's such a it's so much fun. And it's just the right amount of dangerous. Also, we used to play a game called uh, we used to play a game called Dibble. <laughs> is this uh, real or is this a cobbery invention? I don't know. And it's true that we played this, but I don't know where it comes from. But this game called Dibble, uh, we would take a golf uh, tee and a white golf tee. I cannot would... think of a single way this game is going to go. <laughs> we would throw it into the deep end. This is a this is a huge, oh, what, maybe like a 50,000 gallon pool. Is that crazy? Something uh, like that? I a massive I, pool. I, I have no idea how big it is. Uh, I could do it by like, its outer dimensions, but not by its contents. I would say contents. it's like 25 feet long, maybe 30 feet long by maybe 20 feet. It's like 35 by 20 feet. Big fucking pool. It's a big pool. And then the deep end is like 14 feet deep. Um, again, these are, you know, this is, these, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to really say feet wise because I'm just imagining and I don't have right, right, memory. Right. You have a much um, clearer memory of Dibble. Right. Much clearer memory of the rules of Dibble. So we take this white pool, uh, tea, golf tee and throw it in the deep end. And it was white against the sort of light blue backdrop of the bottom of the pool and the shimmering of the water and the glaring of the sun and you'd try to jump in and grab 
the tea in a dive, but it's really hard because it's so light, it gets splashed around, at, but it's also not so buoyant that it pops right back up to the surface. So after one or two people jump in and miss, it's then sort of immersed somewhere in the deep end, and you've got to be the first one to grab it, this and everyone's trying great. to grab it. It's so much fun, and it was also horribly dangerous because everyone's jumping in on top of each other. It was magnificent. It was such a good game. Stupid pool games is one yeah. of the reasons that humans will put on the. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I I love uh this. So this is it's really like a variation of like the sinking rings, but the twist is that it floats somewhere in the in the water. Somewhere huh? in there. Somewhere in there. It's great. Yeah. Someone says that they've done this with a coin. Yeah, the coin is fun. Um, I really love the uncertainty of it sort of disappearing somewhere in the water. Uh, I love those little pool cleaning robots that like bobble around the pool, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And then occasionally they surface and just shoot a jet of water directly into your face. That's very um, funny. We didn't have one of those. We, we vacuumed it uh, manually. Wow. I grew up in the UK where public um, private pools aren't really quite so much of a thing because the climate doesn't really... Uh, right. isn't really good and yeah. I didn't know anybody who had a pool but uh, when it was I would go to swimming lessons and I would spend a lot of time like in the pool just like the local at uh, the local rec center and then in the summer the treat was getting to go to the like the big outdoor pools um, and that was that was great um, I love the pool no pools I in Crusader last... Kings but people have been swimming forever yeah last week I had the thought and this is not a thought that occurs to me very often but I was just like, why do I live somewhere where it's cold half the year? I, hey, that's a I great question. Like, I do like the winter. I really do love winter and snow, but I would much rather come and visit the winter. Um, I love the snow. I love winter. I love being outside in the snow. But, I, but also the winters of my youth where every year we would get a huge snowstorm that left five feet of snow on the ground that you could build forts with and have endless snowball fights. Also, who am I snowball fighting with? I'm 31 years old. Uh, there's, there's nobody <laughs> left. There's no... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Wow, uh, this is a Ray Bradbury short story here. <laughs> so I should just go have fun where it's warm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of warm places. And they're all pretty good. Uh, yeah. I, Florida's not super, but that's no fault of the Floridians, mostly. No. Well, mostly, yeah. Um, we've assembled here today to pick up our Crusader Kings LP. We're now seven parts into this. You know, what started yeah. out as Let's Play Crusader Kings, because Keith and I love it, has, I think, fully blossomed into a, a Crusader Kings LP. And these things do tend to have an end, uh, but we're not there yet. And in fact... Um, no, and we're doing well. The end is usually you do poorly for a few decades in a row yeah 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 no we're, we're doing pretty great let me see if i can load this up there's a really weird bug that happens to keith in crusader kings where the screen flickers really spectacularly uh when we go to oh, the map yeah, let layer. Me actually get the live game go i have not been watching the stream uh your stream not the twitch i've been watching the twitch stream which is the wrong stream to watch uh oh. everything's good to me yeah 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 it's looking good to me uh reverend brightbread in the chat says we're on the rise and the fall is nowhere in sight baby keep rolling sixes and never die this is really i think that this is the pinch point because what has happened is that after slowly growing uh inside uh the Holy Roman Empire, which is now massive Incubating. thanks to our work. Yes. Uh, here in Alsace, which you will notice is now called Hungary. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hey, you know, maybe we could, maybe a nice political project would, it would be to make a uh, big Alsace. Maybe yeah, change, big Alsace. We, we can change really our primary good. title. Yeah, let me actually just, I need to start making a little to-do list because we are now at the point um, in the Crusader Kings uh, uh, run where our range of uh, options is growing exponentially. Big yeah. Alsace. So on, on, uh, so there's two things. My, uh, you know, I have a pretty good grasp on like the the nuts and bolts rules of what you can do in Crusader Kings, typically. And so as I say it, I'm realizing I don't think that we can make Big Alsace in the way that I was able to make Big Portugal, uh, because you can only make your primary title an equivalent title. So we could get a we could 
get a kingdom in the HRE and make that our primary title, but we can't make a duchy our primary oh, title. Oh, yes, you're right. We could just rename Hungary Alsace. <laughs> that might be different. the way to go. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just kind of a, a um, you know, a less significant... Yes, yes. Yeah. So the, the potted history here is that we... Uh, started growing fairly successfully in Hungary down here as well. You can see is Hungary. This is our capital. Oh, this guy's fucking toast, Keith. We should just oh, we yeah. should knock that one out pretty quickly. Ah, uh, you know what? There was something that I there was something I remember that actually we don't want to do that right now because at the very very end of the last episode we realized that we have a massive um hostile faction issue. Yes, yes, we do. Um, so, uh, we, we grew slowly and then the Pope gave us the claim on the kingdom of Hungary. Uh, kingdom right. is the second highest. Um, so in Crusader Kings, there's sort of like tiers of, uh, nation as it were, with the lowest being a count, uh, the lowest that you can yeah. play. Right. And then a yeah. duke and then a king. Can you play a mayor? I don't think. No, you no, you mayor. can't. Uh, and then an emperor. Uh, and so we're doing pretty well. And, you you know, you can see that there are all these little shields inside Hungary. These are all the various, you know, uh, uh, dukedoms uh, within Duchies. Hungary. Duchies. This is going to cause something of a problem. But we'll... A we'll, couple we'll... counties in there also. The yeah, bronze yeah. little crowns are the counties and the silvery ones are the duchies. We went to war. It was a really interesting war. You know, you can check out the last episode. Uh, I have rarely fought a war in Crusader Kings on such a big scale, where the the, the danger wasn't that the army opposing us was strong, but that the place we were trying to invade was so gigantic that we were sort of like, well, where do we go? You know, how do we actually cut up and eat this delicious cake? And now we have eaten the delicious cake and are immediately being punished by Crusader Kings, because whenever you take over a place, you know, a couple of things happen immediately. People there don't tend to like you very much. Um, you, as a result of that, don't get as much money from the place as you would otherwise, and you also don't get as much levies, that is, like, uh, armies from When the a place. king dies or is deposed, there's suddenly a lot of people who go, they think to themselves, maybe I should be the one who's king. What if it was me? What if um, it was me who is king? Or what if my, what if I seceded? And so, you know, um... Right away, you can see, uh, and I'm going to get into what these things are because they're very interesting. Um, but right away, you can see that we have an immediate problem, which is that we have, <laughs> we we are so gigantically above <laughs> our domain. <laughs> and the way okay. that the domain limit well, works is... Okay, that's not that big of a problem, except, except the biggest thing that that's going to do is because cause this, cause normally the biggest problem is that it, it removes a bunch of potential gold, but we're good on gold. We're making 18 gold per turn. Who cares about the gold? Honestly, if it weren't for the other thing, I would say just keep them for now. Uh, but it's going to make everyone hate us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The this second we a- give these away, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with the factions. This is going to be a way to start consolidating a lineage too, right? Because uh, we can give titles to our primary heir and ensure that they will hold on to them. Which Sometimes is, you can't give to the primary heir. You've got to give it to your secondary heirs. But also, but yeah, we shall see. We we'll also see. have a dangerous faction against us. Factions in Crusader Kings can kind of come in two groups. They, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, we got a real rogues gallery of factions. We have a liberty faction here that they're kind of useless, uh, and all they want to do is lower the crown authority. Uh, crown authority is something that a king can do, which basically governs how tight a grip they have on the various big axes of control you know um succession money levies uh you know taxes things like that that's all crown authority and and uh keith and i were just talking earlier about how we're gonna start working crown authority pretty quickly in a way that nobody is gonna like right we're gonna raise that we're gonna raise that sucker yeah right now this faction is both you know not terribly concerned uh and is not powerful enough to do anything 
really. Yeah. More interestingly is a faction to install Count Shaq of Xongrad on the Hungarian throne. These are the funniest factions to me because they um, are so explicit about what they want. You know, sometimes you see factions that like that are like, our taxes are too high, the crown authority is too high. And this person is just like, I want my guy on the throne, please. I would um, like a new king. And it's me. <laughs> and I want it to be this boy. <laughs> it's this 16 year old boy. So there's ways that we could deal with this. And, you know, we're going to get into them pretty quickly. Uh, oh, one of the people that wants the boy is the boy. That's actually kind of rare. Yeah, yeah. Usually people don't, f don't join their own claimant faction for some reason. I mean, usually... The Pope doesn't give Hungary to an Alsatian. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, what I would what I would say in a perfect world, what I would say to these factions is, take it up with the GD Pope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that stands for um, God, comma delighted because of how the Pope, right. <laughs> yes. God loves the Pope. Um, <laughs> God loves the Pope. Yeah. Okay. So. We only have Hungary because we were a sinner who went to Rome to make found God in a cave. <laughs> and the Pope was like, thank God you decided to turn your shit around. There's some doofus up in Hungary who sucks <laughs> shit. You should take that place over. And then we did. Uh, and then we did. Duchess Gisela, who is also her, wants herself on the throne. And she actually has pretty substantial military power. She will be able to send an ultimatum in eight months. And the way the ultimatum works is she's going to say, give me Hungary. <laughs> and we're going to say, no. No. And then she's going to say, war it is. Uh, and then we're going to go to war again. But can we look at her minus 100? Yeah, totally. Oh, we can imprison this other one. What, this guy? We can imprison that guy. Why can we imprison him? I don't know. He's committed some crime. He's Duke Lampert the Shy. Uh, or is he already imprisoned? Can we click on his profile? <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. This guy thinks we're absolutely great, except he has a foul personality, which... <laughs> <laughs> I love everything about you, but, but I'm terrible. I'm just awful. All right, who are you? Wait, what, what's what's your deal? What? Known criminal, yeah. Possible... Oh, he's a witch! Oh, he's a witch! Oh, classic. Well, let's just get him in the jail, right? Well, let's see what happens. Okay, so will not succeed. Do we have a uh, hook? What do you mean okay. it won't succeed? He can't it means just that it, it means like that all me. of it means that if we try, we'll fail by default, and everyone who's mad at us will immediately go to war with us. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Um. Well, what if we accuse him for violating subduary law? Wait, I think attacking I think his crimes against fashion. Okay, <laughs> okay, this is gonna. We can oh, we can revoke a title. That won't kick him out of the thing, though, will it? No, but it will make him weaker. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, this is probably an act of tyranny. No, it won't be an act of tyranny because he's a criminal. Oh, but but he won't accept, so it'll still the same thing will happen. I don't yeah, you think can they should be allowed the, to can... say no to me. I'm the king. I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Zealomorphic in the chat says, this man likes me. Oh, okay. Prison. Sometimes sometimes when someone's a criminal, maybe it's only when they've committed um, treason you can uh, take their land without it being. Or maybe it's a crown authority thing. Uh, anyway, I think that the, the, the first step, is, I have a plan. I have a two-part plan. Okay. Before bef before we hit play. Yes. Before timer. we get into the plan, I want to kind of go through the next thing. Uh, our contract with the Alsace fighters will expire in two months. That's interesting. Okay. If they're going to make a move, it might be advantageous for them to make a move quickly. Ah, oh, but they can't. They have oh, minimum they can't. eight months and ten months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one's not going to do anything. Okay, so I'm not worried about the mercenary company expiring. I am worried about that. I'm going to keep this here. The other interesting news, Keith, is that we have new DLC. <laughs> Oh, we sure do. I forgot about the D. I really forgot about the DLC. And when you uh, continue a run in Crusader Kings with the DLC installed, it, it is usually fine. Sometimes you see some interesting bugs, but the, the game broadly works. You know, Crusader Kings is very, very modular. Where it gets interesting is that um, it is very easy to go down a nightmare rabbit hole of like, I'm going to focus on the DLC. 
uh, and then get yourself completely in a you know in a pickle that you wouldn't have got yeah. into if you'd like made a character designed to explore that DLC. So I'm gonna say what this DLC does uh, on the top level. It kind of does three things, and then we're okay. gonna kind of approach them as they go. The first thing that the DLC does is it adds legitimacy. This is really interesting. Um, and legitimacy is uh, is exactly what it sounds like. It governs uh, whether or not people in your uh, region think that you are legitimate. Um, and you can see that we fall pretty pretty substantially below the... Uh, we are recognized, but we're definitely not rightful. And rightful, I believe, here... Oh, we're so close to rightful. Oh, yeah, but we're not it's true. true. We're not true. And then ordained. And you can see here that, you know, uh, what we are being sort of... There is an expected leg legitimacy for a king tier that is marked here, and we are below that. And as such, we are seeing increased costs uh, for the castle's Belli. This uh, governs how mad they are at us, as usual. This means that vassals will accept us less. This means that people will accept marriage less. Your average expected legitimacy... This is the, the thing that they, among our powerful vassals, we're at true. And among our vassals, we are at rightful. That's interesting. Okay, it's these so new people that good. we have. Yeah. That's actually not bad. No, I mean, I don't like this stuff, but it's not the end of the world. I'll put it this way. No. The factions are more concerning than. But that's only, that's only um, our less powerful vassals that we're getting those penalties with. Yes, yeah. which is nice. Um, uh, how? What are what are the avenues for increasing legitimacy? They have worked that through almost all other mechanics in Crusader Kings. This game it's, is so good. It's it's by the so way. Good. <laughs> so so um, the way legitimacy legitimacy is really interesting because it does act as this kind of. Like, like a barometer on the wall that you can tap and see what the weather's going to be like, kind of, uh, with the knowledge that it's Stormy. being affected by yes, by all the other stuff. So you will see the as sugar we... Sugar water is exploding out of the little thing. Is that how a barometer works? Have you seen the... Uh, th this is this is like a kitsch item in the mid-2000s, I think, uh, where you'd have, like, a uh, glass of dyed water with, like, a spout, like a long spout... And it was just sort of like a cutesy barometer where the higher up on the spout the water was, the worse the weather was going to be. Isn't it fun how that doesn't work very well precisely, but it does work broadly? <laughs> yeah, right. It totally does. Yeah. Uh, our pack sealed in amber in chat says, can we try and assassinate Pope? That's, I feel like, a question that you should always be asking yourself when you're playing Crusader Kings. The answer yeah. is probably no. But, Probably no. Um, well, let's see. There's a point. There's a point in the successful game where you realize that you oh. are able to kill pope after pope after pope if you want. Yeah, uh, I will but say no, we cannot kill this pope. We are slightly. Uh, hold on. We we have a slightly better chance of killing the pope than usual. Kill pope. No, five is the minimum. No, no, no. They go to zero. Does it really? I thought that five was... It was always five minimum. No. Oh. Um. Let's see. Let's see. This one's just a fun one, right? So, his doctor... That's... Now, that's... Now, that, now Keith. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's this compelling. Is, this is compelling because... The Doctor is someone really, really super quite critically important vis-a-vis -vis yeah. killing the Pope. Uh, we could get this We could get this pretty pretty high. $68 to kill the Pope? Yeah, no problem. 68 um, gold. 68 gold to kill the Pope. 68 gold to kill the Pope. It's, li it's like $40,000. And then let's bring in this lady. This is another... Uh, Okay, and I'm just gonna let this run slow for a second when I get my get my messages back from people saying I'll kill the Pope. Oh, that's another faction against us. We'll deal with this in a second. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. What the fuck? This is a fish stream. This is a fish stream. Okay. Yeah, none of this matters. We're gonna re we're reloading this to the kill Pope save. Yeah. Kill Pope, no. Uh oh. 
okay, so we have guys involved, but but it's really quite it difficult didn't because not really no, because the Pope's really quite good at um staying alive at, at this murdered, point yeah. in history. Um, so there, there's at, when we are now. There's a lot of people who think that the Pope is like the mouth of Sauron, but for God. Yes, it's true. Um, um, and they kept trying to make new popes mm -hmm. uh, up to a point where there were four, I think, is the maximum. Do you think that we should establish ourselves um, uh, as uh, maybe like, you know, Bohemia is looking like a delicious treat for me. <laughs> this, is, uh, <laughs> this is how I'm going to put this on the list. <laughs> And it's called where next question mark. Uh, okay. The next so the first big mechanic that gets added is legitimacy. This is sort of passive, it's it's an interesting way to sort of track stuff. The second mechanic, and this is really cool, is called legends. Now, the way legends work is that through your exploits, you can learn things called legend seeds. Uh, how does the game describe it? A legend seed is the legend in the making. It's the basis of a legend, and by founding them, a ruler may start a legend. They can be earned by fulfilling some criteria like being the heir of Charlemagne, or by performing legendary deeds, major decisions, winning a great holy war, becoming a king or emperor, organizing a grand activity, hunting a legendary animal, etc. Inactive legend seeds have no cost but bear no effects. Founding a legend seed for the first time has a gold cost next to it. Now, this is really interesting because we have a seed here called the Heirs of Charlemagne. Uh, this is a legitimizing legend, and legitimizing legends are about um, titles and legitimacy, and we'll have rewards based around titles and legitimacy. This legend is, the great King Charlemagne once ruled this land before this dynasty who claimed to be direct descendants of his imperial blood. It's worth saying that we haven't started this yet, uh, right, but it's kind of an inactive seed. It's it's here, and you can see that it is one out of three um, uh, uh, sort of qualities of. It's the a legend. low legend. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the modifiers that affect it are renown, uh, stewardship, uh, and development growth in terms of the renown of the person who the legend is about, the stewardship of the people who are telling the story of the legend, and the baronies and county modifiers in the place where the legend is spread. So it'll cost us $340 gold <laughs> to open this and 75 um, prestige, and we'll have to pay a maintenance cost on it. Uh, and in order for it to fire, we must hold either France, Francia, or the Holy Roman Empire personally. Wow. Now, when the legends begin, uh, really interesting stuff happens. You can resolve the legend. At that point, I feel like it's enough that you have the Holy Roman Empire or the Empire of Francia. Yes, well, so and here's it's like, the thing. And he's the heir of Charlemagne. And he is. You can, uh, at any point five-ish years after the legend has started, you can sort of close it. You can, like, cash it in. And cashing it in gives you really cool stuff. However, oh. you can pay gold and renown to upgrade the legend, to spread it further. Um, and when it meets those criteria, you can cash it in again, or you can upgrade so after it. After how many years? Uh, uh, once it reaches the next sort of tier. So it's okay. you can you have to wait five years, and it oh, also so it's spread like a, a bit. Bank account. And yeah, you yeah, can yeah. Exactly. Withdraw or like double down. Yeah, and then when it gets okay. to the top, you can do really wild stuff. Like for example. Um, you can build a brand new holding that is like a gigantic holy palace for you. You can, um, you just start getting given like claims on every single title in an empire. Um, it's really super interesting. Um, and there's like a range of these. And you can see here that there are, oh, there are no legends in the rest of the world yet, but you will begin to wow. see them on the map. Born here. world. And legends, of course, spread by word of mouth, by people getting close to each other and talking, by whispering in each other's ear, by sharing a glass of wine. And so Is there the anything next... else that spreads by sharing a glass of wine? <laughs> the next thing that has been added is, uh, let me see, where is the menu? How do I access this? Oh, here we go. Plagues. Now, we are very lucky that plagues right now are not in the world. This is because we haven't started the game running 
without the DLC yet. But as soon as we hit go, legends will start to be spread and plagues will also start to be spread. Plagues uh, are organized into three categories. Realm plagues, those are plagues that we have to worry about very specifically. Nearby plagues, those are plagues that Keith and I go, ooh, let's get a bit close. <laughs> and then world plagues, which are gigantic, you know, plagues. Oh, so this is just plagues operating in the rest of the world, but these will also do things that like take over all of Russia, for example. Um, and those are kind of the, the three big mechanics. Obviously it's Crusader Kings, so there's little bits in here left and right. Um, but we have, you know, uh, uh, we look a little bit like we're patient zero of something. Well, we have so much love as pox, remember? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, those are kind of, those are, those are what's new. Um, and we're going to give it a go. Let me see. Protecting against factions. I would like to read that. Bishop endorsement. Uh, we, we don't worry about that, right, Keith? We know how to. Yeah, eventually he'll endorse us. Uh, protecting against schemes. I know how schemes work. Legitimacy. Uh, I sort of just explained that. No, I, that's fine. Okay, um, let's read this. You ever had a faction form against you? They join factions when they're dissatisfied. You can increase their opinion of you. Uh, you have time to deal with it. And then there's peasant factions. Okay. All right, Keith, what are we doing? We. I have a two-part suggestion on what we should do. Okay. The first thing is that we should immediately throw a feast. <laughs> yeah okay cool uh oh wait we should just run down here really quickly my house is feuding with jack oh i remember this i vaguely yeah, remember this there's a random house that was like you fucking swine you motherfucker and <laughs> we are losing. they're nobody they're just a total nobody house and you said no one's ever feuding with you before and i was like this is exactly how feuds go it's someone you've never heard of who yes. says like who thinks that you're locked in some fucking it's, mortal... it's the state of Ohio and the state of Michigan about uh, college football where Ohio is like Michigan fucking sucks those guys just oh I hate them I hate them so much and we have an ancient blood rivalry we hate those guys so much and Michigan's like yeah I mean we keep beating Ohio and we don't like them very much <laughs> is this your this is your new Michigan uh, lore that you've picked up yeah 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 Michigan lore uh, we have the biggest football stadium in the country. Really? Yeah, that's true. For I can what? tell how impressed you For are. For what? Well, what? For the Michigan uh, school football team. Okay, it is, it, is a, it is a college football thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I don't know if Michigan has an NFL team, so I didn't know if it was that one or if it was a college one. No. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, your family. I learned recently that there's something like five or six American college football stadiums are like the the highest capacity stadiums in the world out of ten. Yeah, like five or six out of ten are American college football. That's insane. Why? Do you, I I don't understand. <laughs> Killing, torturing, cuckolding, robbing, and winning wars against its members will increase your house's score, while falling victim to these actions will reduce it. Okay, so you know. Can I rob this guy? Can I cuckold this guy? Can I'm gonna go sleep with this guy's wife. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a button for it. Great, perfect. I mean, what if we just get it started, Keith? I, what if we just get it started? Okay. Okay, it's the lovers' parks of the fact that we're feuding, right? That's okay. Okay, low county control, fine. Not endorsed by your archbishop. We have a load of disabled buildings because. Uh... Oh, so right. So there's part three of my my two part plan. Yep. First, first part, uh, start a feast. Second yeah. part, give away five counties. Mm -hmm. Uh, or but be careful to not give away ones that have the most gold. Yes. Uh, preferably give away counties where we all we don't have the duchy. Um, also, uh, and then part three is uh, uh, giving gifts directly to the people who don't like us. Just yeah, give me like here's eighty gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is interesting. Realm will lose land if Prince Adan of Ruthenia inherits the kingdom of Ruthenia. Your vassal. Prince Adon is the heir of the kingdom of Ruthenia. 
a foreign title of a higher tier than his current primary title. If a vassal gains title in a foreign realm of a higher rank than their current primary title, they will no longer be your vassal. Oh, so he's going to become some other guys. He's going to become some other guys. Yeah. Can we see? Look at Prince Ardon. Yep. Is this one of ours? I don't think so. I think it's one of theirs. This is, okay. It's an irritating little menu. Who are you? And he has three titles in our kingdom. Yeah. And he's the heir to the kingdom of Ruthenia. He has an implicit claim. Uh, can we look at the kingdom of Ruthenia? Yeah, yeah, we absolutely can. Because, I mean, Ruthenia is... Oh, it's that. Oh, okay. That's not bad. No, no, no. He That'd be pretty tasty, wouldn't it? Who's the? Can, we, can you show me the ruler? It's this piece of shit. Oh, it's oh, it's this piece of. So this is just a guy who still has shit in. Got it. So we'll take care of this when we finish this guy off. <laughs> we, we we need to kill this guy. I mean, finish off taking his land. Oh, I see. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes, totally. Because uh, if, if we own the kingdom of Ruthenia, then this heir is certainly not going to inherit it. What is this guy going to... Right, he's the primary heir. Right. Yeah, we, we don't want to kill the king. We just want to take Ruthenia. Because if we kill him, then we lose the land land to the sun and then we'll have to just take it over anyway why don't we just kill the sun keith because um, then it be goes to princess Schiller, and she's not a vassal of us she's just the daughter of king salomon oh yeah that works too i bet we could kill this guy tremendously sure we could even invite him to the feast and kill him at the feast keith well i think at the feast we should focus on making people like us so you're saying that at the feast where we make people like us we shouldn't Kill him, Correct, yeah. If we really want to try to kill this guy, we could do that at a hunt or something. Okay. I can kill this guy, absolutely. 100%. Ooh, 12 is so low. I think I'm going to bring I, in guys. I, My feeling is to not waste any gold that we need to throw a feast. It'll cost at least 400 gold to throw a feast. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. But we should kill that. We should make killing this man a priority because it solves the problem. But his dad's so young. It's not a problem his until this guy's 47. old. Yeah, look, yeah, look, that's he's got twenty years. He's this, a king. He's not out in the fields. Does this guy have three titles in my country? He has he, three. He has three counties. Oh, this guy sucks. And they're all in different places. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking some of these guys' titles away. Oh, one of just a barony. Who? who okay. That's not even a real place. No, 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 no. It's part of Badgemark. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, step one. Uh, let me just finish going down this list. Uh, yep. Worried about that, but not right now. Powerful vassals expect council positions. Of course they do. Um, uh, ben Guidance says, love that their plan to killing this guy misses it, that this guy's heir is next in line for Rathidia 2. It won't solve anything. But that heir isn't next in line for his counties that he owns. Yeah, we're not planning on killing... So that, this guy, yeah. the, the daughter will still inherit Ruthenia, but she won't have any involvement in our in Hungary. Counties. In Hungary, right. Uh, you could declare wars. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so the Holy Roman Empire has this weird thing going on. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> have you just realized what I've realized, Keith? <laughs> Yeah, well, that we could declare war on all anything. So the HRE had a thing going on where you can declare war against adjacent uh, countries or something, right, which now something includes like Hungary, that, which now includes all of this shit. We can go to war with kings. We could go to war with Poland completely. We could go to yeah. war with. Um... Can't quite make it to Ruthenia. Who's this guy? He's Holy shit, this guy has minus 74? Well, this is a, this is an, an obvious target. Yeah, we'd have to start at the top, but we can sort of work our way down, you know. Uh, okay, so that's good to know. It's it's so funny that this method Well, we wouldn't of... we wouldn't have to work our way down because we if it's a oh uh, 
maybe a misunderstanding. If if it's if we can start the war, wouldn't it be a war against the king, and we'd be t we'd be taking the capital? No, it, the war is just a casus belli. We still need the claim. Okay. We can interestingly go after the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> Wait, how? Why is the why do the Byzantines? Why are the Byzantines trash? Uh, they're just always like that. Absolutely um, incredible are, art and if you, culture. If you've though. played, if you've played, um, God, what what was Paradox's sci-fi game called? Uh, Stellaris. Me? If you played Stellaris, the uh, the like decrepit empires. Yes. You know what I mean? That like they're unbeatable for some reason, but they can never get bigger. They can only get smaller. Um, but they're like just these like wandering like massive things. The Byzantine Empire empires kind of like that. Yeah, they have like a bottomless well of always losing. You can you we can usurp the Duchy of Nitra. We hold enough counties in the Duchy of Nitra. Oh, this is a classic Crusader Kings thing. We have enough of this to usurp it. Yeah. Is that in Poland or Bohemia? I couldn't tell. It's in Hungary, I think. I oh, think it's okay. all ours. We'd just be usurping it what? from. Uh. Yeah, we'd just be Someone's stealing Someone's gotta have something. Oh, current holder. Oh, it's the old king. He's got it. Oh, interesting. I mean, he hates us anyway, so... But that costs yeah. 250. He yeah, will yeah. lose legitimacy. We shouldn't spend any money. We should focus, we should focus yeah, yeah. on not getting in a war with our vassals who are legitimately stronger than we are right now. Our son, second in line, can marry. Yeah. That's interesting. But... That is interesting. You can know. we get him a can we get him a nice Hungarian wife? Do we want children? For for I'm I think the best case scenario would be to marry him to a vassal or a vassal's child who hates us. Okay, but but do we want kids, you know? Um I'm neutral. Because we could marry him to... We've had so... Because it's so tempting, we've had a lot of gay marriages. <laughs> and it, we don't want to end up with a, too small of a house. Right, right. There are all these babies who have alliance power, which I'm not going to... Um, if you click the magnifying glass, you can exclude... Babies. Um, baby. Well, you can exclude minors, but you could also do um, an a maximum age difference is really useful. So our best al alliance... Al <laughs> I said it wrong both times. Our best allegiance here is with Giduti di Parma, uh, which would bring us an alliance with the Duchy of Steiermark. That's 2,000 soldiers. That's uh -huh. pretty interesting. Now, but I do hear the argument for doing... Um, a Hungarian. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, let me. Uh, we might be able to filter Hungarians there too, if you. Uh, culture. Yeah, culture. <laughs> so oh, look at our no. options. It's so funny. Central Germanic heritage, Swabians. Not Central Germanic heritage, not Swabians. Um. Okay. Alliances, marriage prestige. I was replaying through uh, Pentiment uh, 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 last month uh, with Isaac, um, and Crusader Kings is making me want to pick, pick it back up. I kind of, I kind of uh, lost the motivation to do the last bit. But... I've never played it. I, I, I know that I really ought to. Um, oh, it's so good! It's really, I'm so excited really too. Uh, let's There's something see. amazing about like. <laughs> They really sell like a place that is like a uh, a bunch of different kinds of people whose lives like really revolve around religion in different huh. ways. It's fascinating. It's That's so really good. interesting. Yeah. I would marry this guy to Duke Antal because is Duke Antal in any of these alliances. No, he's not. But he would give us a 2,000 soldier alliance and like us a bit more. Okay. What What about that? Uh, what, let's look at... Um, what about Duchess Giselle? Duchess Are you Giselle. married? Not married. No, and she's insane. <laughs> and, and she's insane? 
<laughs> arranged marriage between Duchess. Why can't I choose? These uh, are yours. Oh, right. But okay, let's just do it this way. Um, bring me my son. Son, would you like to marry an insane enemy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Papa. Indeed, Papa. Okay. <laughs> right. Now, what's her name? Gisela? Giselle. It might have to go through the ar arranged marriage page because, uh, or sorry, the proposed marriage page because this, or an arranged marriage, we have to have like uh, the authority over the person. I don't know. It's weird when you're trying to marry someone with titles. Uh,. I guess there's no propose. I don't know. It's hard. Yeah, it's sometimes I. I it's I hard. It should it, work. It should work. Anna. What doesn't always work is the is the, the search, function. <laughs> no, not my doctor. Not my doctor. Is there a thing for uh, like related to you? No. Um, why can I only marry these people? I don't know. We have an heir here. Grundin. Oh, Gudrun. <laughs> Chrome Viper says, is your son not at your court? I think he is. I think he is. Yeah, he's, he's at our court in Cagli Cagliari. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is fine spouse. His previous husband succumbed to leprosy. Can we sort by uh, sort by um, opinion and scroll ascending? all the way to the bottom? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, Why I'm does here. this Armenian lady despise me? <laughs> I don't know. She'll tell us. Lovers pox. Rake oh, just like a lot of bad personality Humble versus reasons. arrogant, impatient versus patient, lustful. Yeah. Is there just, such just a bad, just a bad personality matchup? It was never gonna work. Yeah. I think I think we can't marry her. I think we can't suggest that we marry her. That sucks. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. Fine. 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 We should have him. We should have him marry. We should. We need kids. We need more kids in our. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So I'll just do um, uh, by alliance, alliance power, and I don't need them to be called Gisella. <laughs> <laughs> I have I, one. Uh, <laughs> I have one prerequisite, <laughs> and I don't want them to be a baby. Um, what about this Italian fellow? Uh, is this a lady? Yeah. 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 A little old, low chance of kill kids, probably. Yeah, let's see. And sadistic and vengeful, so also insane. Mm. Ah, 32, check. How big's the army? No. Useless. Well, it's not very big. Compared to 2,000 soldiers? But we need kids. We have shit tons of kids. No, we need just like a... We need a wider... Uh, house. Because, you know, that, that 300, it might end up being a 1,000 one day. Okay, fine. Marry Domislava. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going to lose a bunch of prestige. Where are you? Where is Billy now? Oh, okay. Well, you know. Oh, that's close by. Oh, daughter. No, I have to do this the really irritating way. I shouldn't have closed out of that menu. Okay. Fine, spouse. Uh, for the level. for the people watching, we will um soon have one second of in-game time. I promise. <laughs> we got stuff to do. Okay, right. Next thing we should do, Keith, is we, do you want to do feast before divvying stuff up, or do I you think want divvy to... first? Okay, let's see. So we need to get rid of five. Yeah. One thing that we could do 
is we can take one of the factions that hates us. This is counterintuitive. Find the one that's closest to not happening. So the middle one, I guess, uh, out, of, out of three. Mm. And give a county to one of these people. Oh, that because is a will, good idea. Because they'll they'll like us like they'll they'll get like plus fifty from that. Yeah. Um. Right. It will make them more powerful, but it will make the alliance power of the faction much lower. We should mostly not give away things to our enemies, but <laughs> mostly. Mostly. Um, okay. Now, uh, pale uh, yellow colors are very, very valuable, and uh, yeah. darker red colors are less valuable. So we want the Tor de Mining Pits hugely. <laughs> we want to keep that. Yes. We do not want to give up. Okay. So let's see. God, there's just so much shit going on here. We probably don't want to give away stuff in the Duchy of Nitra because we hold enough of it right now to be able to take it off that guy. Right. Uh, so what about the County of Heaves? Sure, Heaves. I hate Heaves. I hate Heaves. Heaves. I currently hold this, and I'm going to grant this to... Look at all these losers. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a there's a bunch of losers here. Who wants? I'll just do it this way. Uh, grant titles. Do you like heaves? Is this the one that we we want to give it to? Uh, he hates he, us quite a bit. He does. Keith, Keith, no yes. one likes us. <laughs> Are they all? Let's. There's oh. four members. One of them is minus fifty five. She she could like us from this. Yeah. Well, so she's contributing 15.8% of the faction's military power. Okay. And that minus 70, though, that's that's quite a bit. Maybe this is the guy. This guy, Count Vid of Bax, gets heaves. Count Vid of Bax gets heaves. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying it. Count Vid of Bax gets heaves. <laughs> Have heaves, my son. Just another, just a slightly uh, abstract, lesser talked about thing that makes Crusader King so good is that you say things like Count Vid of Bax gets heaps <laughs> <laughs> all the time. It happens all the time. It happens regularly. Every okay. 10 minutes a Count of Vid of Bax gets heaves. Now, we are not going to uh the next person we should give it to is whom, Keith? Um, maybe that 55 and then give the, the last three to our family. Yeah, okay. Countess MS of Xanad. Now, what do you want, Countess MS? I'm giving you cheap ones. Uh, um, we could also, the, the, uh, an alternative would be, um, to try to get one of the two in the bigger faction to like us. They, they seem very powerful. I don't really want to be giving them more land, but it is... It's worth mentioning that uh, probably the way to do it is to make one of them the honored guest of the feast and also give them a gift of gold. That's okay. like probably the best. Yeah, thing I agree. Do. We could give them Liptov. It's not great. And nobody likes yeah, it. Yeah, get Liptov. Have oh, Liptov. that might be part of Nitra, actually. Eh, uh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> it is part of the county of Nitra. How hey. many do we have? How many do we have of that? And how many do we need? Uh, let's see. You can. So, um, where would it say how many we need? We have a lot of it. Okay, so I think we can. I think that we can give one away. Yeah, I'm gonna give Liptov because it's shit. <laughs> Do you think they'll know? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> regifting Liptov. Hey, would you like Liptov? Now she thinks we're pretty all right. Yeah. Okay, now our family time. Okay, our primary heir is this baby. Oh. Okay. Gudrun! Gudrun! Okay, 
Oh, right. It's our dead daughter's kid. Yeah. Yeah. You are going to inherit... You have claims on all this shit. Yeah. Uh, who is actually going to inherit the Kingdom of Hungary? Her. her. It's her. Yes. Yeah. She, the pri so the good thing about becoming a king was that it solidified that our primary heir gets the Kingdom of Hungary and we're not going to be splitting up four duchies. That yes. would be a disaster. Okay, Anno should get one. If we had two king titles, then they would get split. Yes, and you can see what, you know, for example, he's the heir to the Duchy of Alsace, the County of Strasbourg, the County of Sungau, and three more titles. Now, he should get one too, right, Keith? Yes. Um, The question here is, do we also want to give them cheap useless ones no 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 okay uh another strategy would be to find an even lesser child than second because the second will get the second most after the primary by default so, so what about give prince it... mullo's guy's already a prince my, my drunken son yeah okay you can have something uh, or we could give it to this 11-year-old child. Uh, you know. Um, are we raising her? Good question. Good question. We are not raising our heir. We probably should be, right? We can't, unfortunately. Why? Because she is in someone else's court. Yeah, she's with Duke Herman of Corinthia. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to give a title to these three children. Bang, bang, bang. Sure. Down the list. Starting with you. Would you maybe like... Trenson? It's hard, by the way. It is It is kind of a gamble, you know. We could do some research and figure it out, but we don't know what these counties are going to be producing when they're not no, brand no. new, fully hate us. But that's just how it goes sometimes. That's just how it goes. We're not gonna... We can't waste time on it, frankly. It's it, It'll all work out. I can't give this guy titles for some reason. Oh, he's he's a prince somewhere else. Okay, that's fine. I think I remember oh, that right. happening. Oh, right, we married him matrilineally. That's why he's a prince somewhere else. I think we were trying to get rid of, yeah, some children. Uh, okay. You can have the county of Pont. Uh, Jay Harkin says she'll be better than your horrible daughter either way. So, yeah, we our daughter that died was terrible. So it, I'm very glad that we're actually going to be able to play our granddaughter a little bit better. And then Anno gets one. Anno gets one. Anno gets... Orava. Sure. Okay. Right. Now... We should let the game run a bit, just so that all this stuff ticks through for a second, and we can we check should, the faction. We should, before we let the game run, because we have so few months, we should, uh, we should hit go on the feast first. Okay, yeah. Because it will take months to organize the feast. Yes, that's true. Okay, so... Activities. Feast. Yes. Uh, we'll get rewards, people will like us, we'll get prestige, we may gain legitimacy. The oh, works. Yeah. The works. What feast do we want? Do we want just a feast? Does a feast need a reason? Oh, uh, Rev Rybred says save. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Feast. Uh, legendary feast. We don't have an owned legend. That's when we have a, you know, we have Ooh. a legend going on and we say, who wants to come around and hear the story of that time that I was the yeah. daughter of Charlemagne? Murder feast. You do not have the forever infamous perk. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dread Decay, minus 1,000%. Yeah, if you just kill everybody at a feast, that's, that would have an effect on your Dread Decay. Uh, where shall we host the feast? 
Uh, should we host um, it? We should host it at our court. In, no, we should host Sardinia? it. No, where, we should have it in Hungary, right? We should have it in Hungary because it will be it'll be closer to people. Yeah. Oh, but oh. We'll have to travel there. Mm, we should have it at our place. <laughs> okay, good. Do you think we'll still have the right guest guests? Uh, if we don't, then we'll reload the save. Okay. Cool. Uh, we don't need to travel, so that's fine. We are looking for... Recreation. How's our stress oh. right now? It should be okay, right? Yeah, befriend. Befriend. Yeah, befriend. And who do we want to befriend the most? Probably uh, Giselle, right? Yeah. Or the Count, witch. Count Vid of Bax has heaves. <laughs> Count Vid of Bax famously has heaves. He does. And it's getting worse. Count Shaq is the other guy who doesn't like us. Yeah, true. And he's his own claimant. Why won't Giselle come? Wow, she's not even there. And neither is our witch friend. May not arrive in time. Okay, let's see. Out of interest. Sorry, which witch are you talking about? Uh, the witch that is supporting Giselle. Oh, sure. Okay. Befriend. Oop, Count Vid of Bax. Count Vid of Bax has heaps, is what I've heard. <laughs> <gasps> oh, this sucks. Ah, oh, they're they're protesting. They're not gonna come to my party. Shit. Mm. All right. Well, can we? Can we? Can you check something else? Um, yeah. They may not be a befriend target, uh, but can we make them the honored guest? Ooh, ooh. That's a good idea. Okay, befriend. Let's befriend um, Count Shaq while we're here. Yeah. Or count Vid of Bax. Or count Vid of Bax, just for fun. The most powerful person in that faction. That's true. Uh, no, the most powerful person is Count Shaq. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Rev Rybrad says, is it because we hosted this far away? We've also tried hosting it in Visegrad. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same guest list either way. Honorary guest. Gisela. Perfect. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this party's gonna suck. <laughs> Come, my friends. <laughs> oh, my awful, awful friends. I've been, inv I've invited. <laughs> I've invited 50 of my most insane friends. <laughs> they hate me. They actively are trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, okay. And I'm 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 throwing an exorbitant number yeah, of absolutely courses. Absolutely spend as much money as you can on this. And we, <laughs> we want the prestige too. Yeah, we can afford this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come to my party, shitheads! The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I seem to have spotted some veal cutlets already. I can't find Count Shaq anywhere yet. I can't wait for him to arrive, so my plan to befriend him can finally start. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Oh, Gisela is here. Well, she's not here yet, because the game isn't running. But, um, let's see. Nobody has arrived yet. That's fine. The feast's gonna begin in eight months. Okay. Wow, that's exactly when that thing's supposed to happen. <laughs> let's let's give one of them some cash. Let's give one of them some cash. Which one? Which one? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Gisela. We have two choices, and they're both not great. 150 gold to Gisela. He's 106 opinion. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's the choice is clear. And she still doesn't like us by minus 64. No, no, but this is going to cause a problem to her plans because she's like, <laughs> she's like, her mail arrives and she opens the first envelope and it's like, my dear friend, come to my party. I've invited 150 insane friends and, th and they all hate me. And she's like, I don't think I want to do this. And then she opens the second one and it's just gems. It's just a huge amount of gems. 
Then she's like, yes, I'm gonna go. Okay, so the next thing that I did want to check is, oh yes, here we go. Um, My heir is the first in line to inherit Barden, which is not inside my realm. Fun, that's fun. While that's only is, a boon, that's yeah, a pure boon. While it's possible that she will inherit this title on her own, a murder could speed up her acquisition of it while ensuring that she, what is Barden? Oh, I think we had designs of that place once before we decided uh, that we wanted yeah, to go Yeah, this might have Hungary. been part of our plan at some point a long time yeah. ago. Hey, can we get Friuli? It's on the periphery. It's kind of no, irritating me. No, we can't get me. Friuli because it's a it's like a it's special a prince bishop, bishop, bishop city. Yeah. Oh, and we're having a feast. Okay, well, uh, we've been streaming for an hour and twelve minutes. Should we should we hit play? Let's hit play. Yes, let's let these tops spin. That is Crusader Kings. Uh, okay, right. So we have a new faction. Oh, new faction. <laughs> Great. Right. We sort of thought that this might happen. Oh, and a fact. Okay, well, wait, wait. So, who are you? Ermintrude of Bessinson, who I remember, knows that we tried to kill Countess Georgia. Do you remember trying to kill her, Keith? I don't. And I didn't remember last time either. I don't know why we no. did it. It might not even been serious. No, and, and we shouldn't. We don't want to be known about murderer. Right, we will let her blackmail us, for sure. Okay, the next thing is a faction, Prince Lampert. Who are you? I don't know who this guy is, but he does want to install Maria. Is that his wife? No. Uh, on the Hungarian throne. It's not a bad, it's not a bad faction. But only Although one he's the member. member. Okay. Is he coming to our feast? Is he coming to our feast? Let's find out. Prince Lampert, do you want to come to Corsica? You're going to have a terrible time. Um, guest list. Show me invited. Oh. Nope. They will not. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. Famine yeah. fever has spread in the bishopric of Pinerolo. Pinerolo. And here we can see for the first time the plagues menu. Infections in Pinerolo. Oh, um, I think there are probably some people who are going to go through there to get to our feast. Oh, how fun. And in case you're wondering whether the game is modeling that, yes, it is. Uh, this is the kind of typhus. It's minor, and it gives you typhus. Nobody has died. That's good. Oh, should we see if there are any legends spreading? Sure. Yeah. No, none yet. No. Nobody's figured out that you can tell stories yet. Okay, I'm going to set the game on, on two It's only 1,100. They haven't it figured is, out yeah. stories. Okay, that's good. There's an alliance there. They won't invent narrative until what year did they start the CW? I was like, two th it was like 2012, right? Yes, yeah, like 2012, something like that. What is this? What are they complaining about here? Why is what is going on in the county of Zolyom that means uh, that they're in a war? You can click on the war. Yeah, the three. Oh shit! There. Who's who's fighting whom? Oh right, these fuckers can do intervassal war, war right now. Yeah, we gotta stop them doing that in just a second. My Countess was, uh, was taken prisoner. Yep, that's fine. I sort of Do we have any that. prisoners right now? Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Wait. Let me see. Oh, wow. People with claims are just showing up. Uh, It's in my court. No, no prisoners. This guy has a shit ton of claims. Wow. This must be uh, the the brother or something of the old king. Yeah, but I don't think there's anything we can do about that right now. Or rather, we, we, we need to we need to remain focused. Jay Harkin says, have you looked at your council since the upgrade? We haven't. Let's check it out. So right now we have a very sort of. We have a very. um. We have a decent council. Yeah, we have an Alsatian council is what we have, right? You know, yeah. it's like. Uh, his intrigue is good. What's our what's let's check out the spy master situation. That's something that maybe there's a powerful vassal that, uh, that we could. Oh, the uh uh Duke Lampert the Shy. Yeah, but oh, or Prince Lampert the Honest. <laughs> <laughs> they all... Oh, but they're 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 both bad. They That's hate us so much. Um, and I don't want to make someone who hates me my. They're also worse at intrigue. Uh. No, uh, Adan is better. 
but Lampert, the Lamperts are both worse. The Lamperts are both worse, yeah. yeah. Um, Maranu. No, wait, hang on. That can't be right. Uh, Sort by this. The Alexa oh. says, what could possibly go wrong with having a spy master that hates you? Well, the thing about specifically Lampert the Shy as a powerful vassal is they get a huge bonus just from being made a council member, and then the powerful vassals lose their, I should be on the council, minus 20. So we could probably get this person to, like, minus 50 just by putting them on the council. Uh, and then by being on the council, they'll start to like us more quickly. Uh, which yeah. Is so, like, for example, Prince Adan's intrigue oh. is 18. Yeah. And Marianu's is 50. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know... Not nothing, but I don't love giving this guy my spy master yeah, role. Yeah, this guy, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it to... Uh, uh, this is the highest we can get right now. Hey, we should uh, we should give a bribe to Archbishop uh, Ludwig Gross. We should, we should. Now, how because, would this be... Uh, just because he's so on the verge of liking us that that money will make him endorse us and then... Uh, oh, we can only give it an artifact. Uh, let's sway him. Okay. The old-fashioned game. Uh, how would you feel about making Count Shaq our steward? Because his stewardship is 21. And oh, that's Prince good. Anno's is 17. Now, Prince Anno is also a vassal, but he likes us way more. Yeah, I, I agree with this. Okay. Oh, whoa, he does not care for us at all. But he's going to come to the feast, and he's going to have just such a delightful time. He's going to be our feast. friend. Um, now, let's see. Uh, you are organizing the army. I would like you to increase the control in the county. Um, we're all oh. good here. All good there. We're That's all good great. here. I would like you to really start Eaves. getting to work in... <laughs> What's that guy's name? He does have heaves. Uh, fuck. <laughs> he said it so many times. Count Sack. It's not Count Sack. Count Bat Ball? Count, Count Vid, Vid of Bax. Of, of Bax. <laughs> Count Vid of Bax has heaps. Okay. Uh, this guy is absolutely disrupting schemes right now. I think that's essential. Yeah. Our Chancellor, I'm going to set to work on domestic affairs so that our vassals like us more. You know? Yeah. Bestow royal favor. Sweet. Um, Count Shaq is going to collect taxes. This is extremely cruel because he's going to be collecting taxes, you know, in his own place. And mm. you do... Um, Religious relations, I suppose. Yeah, fine. Yeah, talk to the Christians. Yeah, get to work. Um, now, should we do a little bribe on Count Shaq, or do you want to wait until he comes to my party? And uh, we can only do one thing. Wait, sorry, a bribe or a sway? A bribe on. A bribe. Um... We might. We may not have enough to bribe because we couldn't bribe the the bishop, and it's just because we're too poor. But he might take it. Where he is... might not need the whole. Because I think that it's deter it's partially determined by your rank and partially determined by how greedy or how much they hate you. It, I, it's Crusader Kings, so it's probably a bunch of different things. Right. Some people will just take a 50 gold bribe, and some people are like, no, I need like 125 gold. What are the what do the fashions look like now? What are they? Have we, yeah. have we seen any movement? No, oh, really. Oh, look at that. It it went up. They they used to be able to send an ultimatum in eight months, and now it's eleven oh, yeah. months. That is true. Let's and uh, so this is so this is all this is helping. It's working. It's working. Let's see if Stay they want the to course. come to a party. Uh, and of course, once we make them like us, we're going to raise crown authority in a big way. And... Yeah, yeah. Um, Xongrad, This is where Count Shaq is from. What is this war? Who is fighting whom? If you click on the county, it'll yeah. it'll be under the diplomacy thing. Yeah. Count Gurgly of Comoron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Count Gurgly of Comoron and the Comoronian claim. Oh, a notable guest has arrived. 
Arnold van Randerath would make for an accomplished commander. He's pretty yeah. good, but I'm not. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? What? Keith. Yeah. Look. What? Your son, Prince Anno, created the faction to install Prince Anno of Arava oh, on the Hungarian the nerd with his little freak. against you. This piece of shit. We just gave you a county. We gave you this county, and now you think you can be the I'm the king of Hungary now? Yeah, yeah. Two oh. weeks to send an ultimatum. You're, it's just you're you. a rapacious planner. All of a sudden, you're Jesus. betraying me. Jesus Christ! I will not let you marry on your own. Hey, how about you? where's your where's your calm temperance now, Anno? Yeah, Anno. We found you a wife. Piece of shit. Okay. Well, sons, am I right? Sons. Well, famine fever is spread in the city of Susa. It's 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 growing. Oh, hang oh, on. Where's no. Alsace? Oh, it's up, up there a bit. It's up there a bit. Yeah. Ludwig Ludowinger has died. I don't remember oh, who no. he was. Oh, no. He was so important. We'll oh, miss him. Oh, alas. I don't know who you are. Defeated armies kind of working their way up there. Yeah. How, uh, how long until our feast? I'm, I'm raring to, to have to some feast. turkey legs. And... Five months before it begins. Wow. Oh, Gisela is on her way. She's traveling. Wow, look at her side saddle and everything. She's in Omis. Imagine tra riding side saddle for five months. Ah, is it more comfortable than riding front no, saddle? No, I believe it's I less know. comfortable. Oh. Huh. Mouse found it in the chat says, Sorry, was there a county just called Bags? Yeah, it's it's it surrounds uh, worms. Really? Yeah, it's a bag of worms. Yeah, uh, uh, no. Weirdly though, Werback surrounds worms. Um, it's a Werback of worms. Uh, someone famous showed up. Someone famous is always showing up. Famine fever is spreading. Okay, has anybody died of it? No. No. Good. That's good. Yeah, that is good. Oh, an inspired person can be sponsored. This is a fell mood. Uh, one of your courtiers or guests has an inspiration and can be sponsored to create an artifact. Oh, right. Oh, this we is haven't the other held thing. court yet. We, we haven't held a court. court. But we're busy participating in our feast. So this is we looked saying. at the court last time. This and then we're like, we'll hold court next time. Yeah, this hasn't really showed up in our LP, but um, is this Anno? That piece of shit? No, it's my doctor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I take it back. Sorry. So we can decorate this place. Um, and as, as the court sort of goes, you can see um, the court grandeur. Oh, uh, we actually have a decoration to put up, I think. Oh, and then court artifacts. Yeah, we do. We do. We stole some banners and shit. Yeah, we have mold. We have uh, a few. Yeah, look at this. Get some prestige. So we're going to put this our house helmet. banner up there. That's important. And then we stole a banner, and then we've got a pelt. Look at that. The Arpad Dynasty banner. Then let's get a pelt in here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Uh, and then court grandeur is a sort of a... Uh, we can set what type of court we have, an entry court, an administrative court. We can set what language we speak. And then we can upgrade kind of how our court goes. Lilac and Lily says, shame we could only afford one good chair. No, the wife sits on the worst chair. It's part of it. Yeah, for some... Oh, look at our beautiful uh, bird, bird throne. Yeah, two doves, our dove, our dove throne. Jordan has the ins artisan inspiration. He wants to make a cabinet. Well, fucking go for it, Jordan. Let's briefly Ooh, see who's here. We may not have the cash for this one. We, we might have to save it for later. Sit. Listen, wife. Who's in the fancy chat? <laughs> Stop telling me what I can't afford. I think maybe you can't afford this. Um, 50 gold? Only 50 gold? Oh, that's a, that's a, a that's a steal. For Make a me a cabinet. Make this me a cabinet. This is merely decent. So this will be a green cabinet, maybe, with, with some luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I can go into photo mode. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. I'm not here, I think, because I'm running my, uh, my doctor's just there like, the king has disappeared. <laughs> um, okay. 
we're preparing for the feast. So we are preparing for the feast. And yeah, when we um, when we can, we should hold court. It sort of becomes like a uh, Dragon Age Inquisition sort of. Um... Lately, my efforts to impress have fallen flat. My friendship with Ludwig is still standing on shaky ground. It's a mess. So Ludwig Didn't is still alive? No, he just lost his title. Oh, I thought it said he died. No, he lost the county of Orlemund to Duchess Adelaide of Thuringia, who was his rival. Wow, that's embarrassing. That Look, is it says embarrassing. right there, he died. He died in February. <laughs> no, just someone died, not him. Died? It says died. <laughs> died. Spouse died. Died. <laughs> died. This guy keeps dying. <laughs> Are you? He is still alive per the game, right? Yeah. Ludwig Ludwinger, the tall zombie. Tall, dead man. What's his deal? He's forgiving. I imagine you would be if you were dead, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. You had a lot of time to work Once you've through. seen the Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, you got to be forgiving. He's temperate, ditto. He's diligent, ditto. He's an adequate bargainer. Let me back onto Earth to complete my dealings. Yes. He's yes. a diplomat. He's a hunter. He's a crusader. And he's a traveler. I'm not done. I have unfinished business unlanded in the Tulay Tulay Tula. Uh, what's his motto? None shall freely attack a disarmed man. <laughs> okay. Good motto. Great. Uh, anyway, my friendship with Ludwig is on shaky ground. It's a mess. However, I've got a brilliant idea. I'll have my beneficiary, Jordan, add a dedication to the masterpiece he is making. The flattered dedicatee will be deeply touched by my generous generosity and munificence and will have no choice but to like me more. To Ludwig. Ludwig, the undead guy, becomes your friend or I'll find other ways to impress whomever I want. Now, this sucks because it is so funny that it's like, Gisela? No, I want the undead non-entity that the game has gotten interested in. Well, we got to dedicate it to this weirdo, right? Yeah. Okay. It's free. It is free, yeah. I can modify my daughter's contract. Tax your daughter. Oh, it's an act of tyranny. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, someone lost a Liberty War. Let me check in with the factions. What's my weak son doing? He can't do shit. She's... Oh. She, uh, this is three months. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, they gained a member. They gained a member. This is bad news. Who? Oh, some peasants? Oh, they gained the public. <laughs> <laughs> the peasants are on their side. I I suggest. Oh, no. I suggest that we uh, give some money to the, uh, to the witch. Which witch? Lambert the Shy. He is not a witch. He oh, is he is a witch. He is a witch. Okay, fine. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, we can't, but I could maybe give him an artifact. I don't think we have an artifact to give. Oh, we have a sword. We have a bad sword. Mm. Yeah, totally. This is, a, this is a shit to your sword. Would you like my dog shit sword? My Xanad sword? I, yeah, it's, it's worth even checking to make sure we don't have a better sword to give. No. No, this is it. Do you want my only sword? Do you want my sword? Okay. Uh, well, his reason for accepting is artifacts are rare and precious. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... This is like a sword we found. He still hates me? Uh, maybe yeah, it hasn't it wasn't through yet. Very, it wasn't a very good sword. My beneficiary, Jordan, bows. I would love a critique of the cabinet I am in the midst of crafting for you, my lord. He takes me to his workplace where there is, concernedly, only a dusty, beaten-up cupboard. Oh, that isn't the piece. He opens the ragged cupboard, and inside is nothing but a tiny model of a cabinet. <laughs> Ornate, stoned, and gilded, but about the height of my finger. What do you think? For your sake, this had better only be a prototype. Uh, Jordan gains 10 opinion of you, and then he gains the miniature cabinet artifact because he's like, I have to make a real one now. Or, oh, it's perfect, I adore it. You stop sponsoring his inspiration. <laughs> you became he's the happy owner. either way. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny, tiny cabinets. Building construction time minus 15% is not a bad. Must be a child to equip as an inventory artifact. Oh, that's garbage. It's very, very funny, but I would like 
I would like a one, full please. cabinet, please. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's a prototype. I love that as a king, one of the nice things about being a king is that any criticism that you make, it uh, carries with it the inherent threat of death. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, did we not give the sword? We did, and it increased his like of us by seven. Yeah, it's a sh it was not a good sword. <laughs> it was not a good sword. Oh, oh! I would love to murder this person. Don't say but. <laughs> but. His heir is the villain. Uh, which would make her extremely powerful. And, and it will, it will take longer to kill him than it will for the faction to come to power. Uh, and so it would, it would behoove us to give gold instead and just wait until we have more gold to give, which should be just next month, I bet. Oh, this sucks. That damn public. Oh, we can lower her feudal taxes. I thought about this. Look at how little it does. Look. Yeah, who cares? Point four. We oh oh we we only gain. Okay, I see. Crime Viper says, "Could you put them on the council? We could put them on the council. Yeah, um, we could make him our. We could make him our spy master. It wouldn't be no our. He's an average spy master. What about her?" Oh, bad stats. We should make him our spy master and then and then plot to kill him. No, because he'll know that we're trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just don't tell. No, no, no. Uh, spy masters have a massive bonus against plots against them. What's our what's our chance to kill uh, uh, Mariano? Our current spy master? Yeah. I just not want to zero. See. Twelve. It's not nothing. <laughs> It's not nothing. Uh, and and this guy's a worse spy master. I'm not worried about. Like, this guy despises us. Well, but he's craven. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do anything. Mariano hates us. Yeah, but he's often all sauce. This is dangerous, Keith. I, I think I think you know maybe the the thing to do it would be to give him gold first and then assign him and see what it does. I can't give him any gold. What, well, we just need he. It'll be three months until oh, I that, this faction attacks. Yeah. I think that I think that we'll probably be able to give him like 125 gold next month. Something we like might that. also be able to beat them. Is the other thing. Um, that would be tough. I think. Because they each have 2,000 troops. We have like 6,000 troops. We have 6,000 troops if you count our allies. Uh. But it would be a defensive war, so we could invite them for free. Hey, what's going on in France right now? Oh, that's plague, Keith. <laughs> huh. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Kaiser Ruprecht's neighboring ruler lost a war. Um, yeah, let me... Okay, the Romantic Plague, which is consumption, is spreading. Wow, we got plagues all over, Keith. The Famine Fever, yeah. the Famine Fever, the Romantic Plague, the Jovku Dancing Plague. I don't know who did the PR for Famine Fever that didn't <laughs> figure out the romantic plague thing yeah they should have gotten there first right alban yeah. flu amir e amiran masud's flu uh yeah that's it okay um uh okay. nothing to worry about consumption right now. that's just um that's uh uh tuberculosis tuberculosis yeah okay okay Get this going again. Keep an eye on this faction. Consent an ultimatum in two months. Ah, a cheery gathering. 
The guests are gathered in the Great Hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. So many bites to choose from. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Here we have Queen Adela, my wife, me, mm -hmm. and then Duchess Gisela. Hey, you guys are okay, I think, a little bit. Maybe. Maybe um, you guys are okay. So... <laughs> That's also part of the party? Maybe. So, what is so, there to do around here? Servants were carrying out impressively adorned entremets. A number of proud peacocks, skinned, cooked, and stuffed, then redressed in their magnificent plumages. However, as Mayor Guntram brought his knife close to one of them, the fowl came to with a shriek. This one wasn't cooked at all. It pecked at Guntram's nose before bursting forth among the screaming and laughing guests as the wild ah, bird ran. Ah, hey, Guntram! Oh, what a joke. Fucking idiot. Mayor Classic. Gerlach rose to the challenge. It proved great entertainment to see him desperately chase the raving creature across tables. In the end, he managed to scare the peacock towards the Great Hall doors where it escaped into the night. Constantinou de Zori overjoyed with the amount of candied figs. <laughs> I haven't, uh, I haven't seen The Wolf of Wall Street, but Europe seems like it was like a thousand years of The Wolf of Wall Street. That's the impression I get. Uh, oh, uh, no. Okay, in a second we can... I did everything I could, ensuring that Bistrik and Constantinou would be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough, and now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for the order to intervene. Uh, that's Grundin, my daughter's caravan master, and that is a courtier. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Although we're very diplomatic, so we should just do this uh, yeah, we should get and that. get we the should... prestige. Yeah. Yeah. That's a decent amount of prestige. Anno! Oh, Anno. no! Oh, oh what a oh, shame. That's a shame. That's a oh, shame. Boo. He was blameless. My perfect son. My perfect son. And he and he never did anything wrong and definitely didn't like launch a faction against me. Oh, speaking of. My alliance with Bernard. Oh, a faction is disbanded. That's good news. <laughs> Silver linings. Silver linings. Silver linings. All right. Now I'm going to offer this guy a gift. Now... Is it actually better, Keith, to offer her the gift? No, because she's already. We already have um, a bonus from giving her a gift, and uh, it will it will dampen how effective the gift is. Okay, gains a hundred and two opinion of me, but he is not. It's not. Oh shit! Look at that! Huge. It was the sword. The sword arrived, and he said, "I don't care for you, and I don't care for this terrible sword." And then the money came after, and he said. I can buy three or four more swords with this. This is great. I love swords. Okay, cool. So let's run this down. This is about to change, I think. This is 30 months. That's five months. Okay, we should keep an eye on yeah. that. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, strong sad boy says, I'd save your money because this is about to be a war. Says someone who doesn't understand the power of sending someone 100 gold. <laughs> After days and nights of joyous company, my feast is soon to be over. Most every guest seems to be pleased except Guntram, who is still clutching his nose where the peacock marked him. We should do this more often. Okay. But what about the people I really wanted to... Duchess Matilda approaches Adela and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. Who is Matilda? Uh, she's from Luxembourg? I don't care about her. Although, Countess MS made Duchess Richwara laugh vigorously. That's good. My wife is dancing. Oh, I can't believe we didn't put on my feasting hat. <laughs> you don't I think the crown is a feasting hat? Believe we didn't put on my feasting hat. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh. King Leah says that the uh, Luxembourgian woman is married to one of our kids, they think. Is that. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, wait. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Yes! <laughs> Floats above my head quite beautifully. What happened to our beard? Why is it illegal to have a beard with this? I don't know what happened to our beard, but my spectacles are on. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, apparently, Crumb Viper says it looks like the intent got reset to recreation, so whomever you wanted to befriend, cancelled, I guess. Oh, I bet that's it. 
As the feast is underway and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Duchess Matilde approaches Adela and me. This is a marvelous feast. Um, you gain household efforts. Ooh, this boosts our direct vassal opinion. Oh, that's huge. That's pretty good. I'll take the stress. Um, Duchess wait, Gisella is here. Wait, did did taking the stress give us that? Yeah. Oh, okay. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my confident brother, Albrecht. He inquires about my opinion on hunting, a subject he is deeply interested in himself. It's a subject that fascinates me as well. I could not care less. Who is Albrecht? He is my actual brother. He's my actual brother. Oh, then, yeah, sure. We, sure. we have enough prestige. He looks like Jack Nicholson. He does kind of look like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Let's sh check. Oh, a toast. A toast. Wow. The feast is starting to draw to a close, and my visitors are surely expecting me to lavish a little attention on Duchess Gisela, our esteemed guest of honor. Traditionally, a complimentary toast and deep drink of spiced wine does the trick. Then again, all Duchess Gisela did was turn up. This feast was my idea. I paid for everything, and I hosted everyone. Hmm. And now a toast to Duchess Gisela. She gains a bunch of prestige, she gains 30 opinion of me, and she gains highly esteemed. Let us address the fiend of the hour. Ooh, Ooh that's a classic medieval wicked. joke. Uh, we gain prestige, she doesn't like us, and we lose some stress. And you, you're you all very welcome. I'm prepared to take this boost. This is what we want. Oh, for sure. For. Yeah, this is what we want. And let me check the... Let's oh, look at, those, at the factions there. Because Ermintrude just got excommunicated that's oh what a shame she's the one who knows i'm a murderer um can still send an ultimatum in one month but that plus five that's doing something i hope so i hope I so you could send i wish you could send gold to the peasants the game does not let you do that no it's because peasants aren't real imagine how many how few gold could dissuade a crowd of peasants. <laughs> Few candles survive after the last of the guests has left. I can hear a pair of servants letting out sighs of relief after the doors close. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm and every noble worth their salt will know that my magnificence is unparalleled. With everyone headed home with bellies full of exotic delicacies, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. Nevertheless, I am still grateful that the endeavor is over for now. And with that, it's all done. Every courtly vassal, of which I have two, I don't know who they are, I could look, gains 25 opinion of me. Every non-courtly attending That's vassal huge. gains 15 opinion of you. You gain 225 prestige. You get a bonus to the eager reveler trait. You gain 20 legitimacy. You increase your legitimacy level to rightful. Huge. You lose 13 stress. Cal Cagliari gains a uh, great banquet and the terror in the plains gains 25 glory. And with that, it's done. Great. I think this is a this is a huge success. Oh, okay, cool. Right, so now look, now we are out of there. They can send an ultimatum at any time. But plus twenty one, that's got to be that's got to be something. Got to be soon. worth something, right? I think that that has to change. There's no way that they're gonna go to war with us. I hope so. Um, and we have a diplomacy point. That's good. We can get. Uh, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> get out of here. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've woken up from we've woken God. up from the feast. We look like a, we look like an idiot. Gotta fix this. Okay, uh, right now we can do this. Firm hand, monthly prestige per dread. Not no, no. <laughs> not good. Uh, confidence. Each friend gains stress gain. Bound by blood, we can do schemes against family members. Hmm. Maybe it's time to switch. August is not bad if we want to. I mean, firm hand we don't love, but uh, true ruler, a life of glory. August, those are all great. Uh, but it might be uh, might behoove us to to swap to something like learning or stewardship. Yeah, we're doing great on the money front, so maybe not stewardship, but. It's all it's all on the table. The problem is, is that we've gotten about all the good diplomacy stuff about vassals, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um 
Monthly prestige per night, offer vassalization. You can commission an epic. What are our, what's our next best stat? It's, uh, it's Marshall. That's interesting. Um, oh, Marshall, huh. Oh, the control growth on Serve the Crown might not be too bad. No. Hmm. This might actually be a good idea to shift to an authority focus. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, we lose that point, but we should have applied, applied the point. Oh, we still can. We can still do it. Yeah, we still oh, can. Okay. Cool. Great. Um, okay, now, we can hold court, we'll do that in a second. We can petition the liege. That might be interesting. We can pay homage, no. What can we... Oh, whoa, we're in the court of the HRE. Oh my mm. god, I want ours to look like this. Look at the wallpaper, very intense. Very cool. Wowza. We have to go all the way. And it costs 200. No, 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 no. Uh, but we should hold court. Our court looks so much less cool. All right. Um, I think- Well, we're poor and new. That's true. Before we hold court, I'm going to take a five minute break and we will sure. be back at five minutes me? past the hour. Goodbye. I. I ate a small bowl of crisps hmm. and I have a non-alcoholic beer and I'm ready to hold court. I listened to five minutes of Van Morrison. Nice. Yeah. Did you, did you, were you just feeling the silence of the house and you were like, time for some music? Or were you sitting there and thinking, I'm going to listen to Van Morrison? A little bit of both. Mm. I um, love the radio. In the morning, when I get up and the house is quiet and I put the radio on. That is one of my favorite experiences. Um, the radio, that's so interesting. I haven't listened to the radio on purpose since, like, whatever year the iPod Mini came out. <laughs> you got to find a station that you like, and then it just, it'll change your life, Keith. Um, the problem is that so there are stations in in boston that are fine there's uh uh the classic rock station on 100.7 and there was what used to be the like 70s 80s and 90s station uh on like 105.5 uh and there's the oldie station on 103.3 um and like those were all fine for me um but uh yeah they were not super consistent and i always had a better time like having my own library on shuffle mm -hmm. um or even you know in the last 10 years putting a like a streaming station on yeah what's the what is your radio like I you listen... mean terrestrial radio right yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to Ann Arbor College Radio a lot. College Radio rules. It is oh, regularly yeah. capital B bad radio, but it is just as regularly capital G good radio. Right. Um, and there's no commercials. Nope, no commercials. Uh, there are right. So that's PSAs. a big problem with the radio is that for every 10 minutes of music, you'll have between three and 20 minutes of commercials. Yeah, it's also worth saying when I talk about the radio that I, I really only like to listen to music on the radio. Um... You know, I'm sure that there is good radio, good radio shows out there, interesting it's stuff. Not. <laughs> but it's not for me. But I'm sorry I'm also, to the radio. I'm not much of a podcast person. Um, it's it's music for me, and yeah. So I listen to to um, 88.3 uh, Amp Radio, 88.3 <laughs> WCBN, 88.3 Ann Arbor. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, our pack sealed and amber says you make a podcast. Yeah, you know I'm out here. Um, uh, I'm out here. Um, you know, I'm working in the kitchen, but I'm not necessarily eating all the food <laughs> that goes out. I love podcasts. I listen to se to several podcasts every day. Um, what I can't stand is let's plays. I watch a let's play. I watch you. 
do Let's Plays? I watch my friends do Let's Plays, actually, is the thing. Yeah, I watch my friends do Let's Plays, but I don't like any, I don't like any Let's Plays that isn't me. <laughs> I, um... I do it so good. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's just not for me. It's just not my a medium for me. So much of what is interesting about making podcasts for me is the making, you know, is the... I never got into Friends at the Table to do podcasts. I got into Friends at the Table to tell stories with people that I care very much about. Um, and so for me, the, the podcast has been, you know, obviously, we're interested in making the best thing that we can. We have a lot of conversations about, you know, what it means to be making this thing as a podcast, what 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 working in an audio medium gives us, what working on serialized yeah. storytelling gives us. But the podcast is sort of, sort of the side effect for me of, <laughs> of, of telling stories with my friends, you know? Um, yeah. And it's a great side effect. I'm very happy with it. Um, I listen to a lot of comedy podcasts, just not something that you can get anywhere else. They don't make comedy TV or movies anymore. Uh, so it's really sort of like the last stop for comedy where comedy's happening all the time. Hmm. And like, I think our show's funny and I think I'm funny and I think the Let's Plays that I do are funny. Uh, I don't particularly think anyone else that does Let's Plays are, are very funny. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, the really only place where I can go to get like new good comedy regularly is podcasts. And the the stuff that I listen to is so funny. It's like, oh my god, this stuff is hilarious. My my main goal in, in life is to be listening to funny stuff as much as I can and be cracking up all the time. You were put on the earth to fart around, as uh, yeah. as Kurt Vonnegut yeah. says. Oh um, sure, I love that. Good for him. Oh god, Keith, do you not know this quote? It's, it's about Kurt um, Vonnegut sounds going vaguely out and familiar. buying an uh, envelope. Um, I'm, I'm gonna oh, see yeah, I yeah, yeah. I know this quote. Yeah, I do. I'll read it for the chat because it's it's just, it fills my heart with love every time I hear it. Um, this is where his wife is like, why don't you just buy more envelopes at once? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what is it say? for spoiling the story. <laughs> Kurt Vonnegut, uh, uh, he tells his wife he's going out to buy an envelope. Oh, she says, well, you're not a poor man. Why don't you go online? and buy a hundred envelopes and put them in the closet. And so I pretend not to hear her, and I go out to get an envelope because I'm going to have a, have a hell of a good time in the process of buying one envelope. I meet a lot of people and see some great looking babies and a fire engine goes by and I give them the thumbs up and I'll ask a woman what kind of dog that is. And, and I don't know, the moral of the story is we're here on earth to fart around. And of course the computers will do us out of that. And what the computer people don't realize or they don't care is we're dancing animals. You know, we love to move around and it's like we're not supposed to dance at all anymore. <laughs> Very sweet. It's a great, yeah, it's great. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I missed it. Someone asked what the good comedy podcasts are. Someone else said Comedy Bang Bang was good. Not sure if it still is. Comedy Bang Bang had a rough couple of years, but the last two years have been all time years. Oh, that's great. So if you're if you're thinking about maybe getting into Comedy Bang Bang, look no further than 2022 and 2023. They were phenomenal. Uh, a big favorite of mine is uh, the Teachers Lounge podcast, which is now behind a paywall, but it's uh, uh, an improv show about four um, insane teachers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where they do they do like a, a news show about their school. Um, it's really, really, really good. Uh, hosted by uh, uh, most well known uh, by Drew Tarver, who recently was the star of the really phenomenal Max show. The other two had three seasons, and it was the best show on TV when it was on. Um, really recommend the other two if you haven't seen it. Um, I also uh, it's another one that I like. Um, uh, I recommend people go back and listen to the old Paul F. Tompkins uh, podcast, the Pod F. Tomcast. That hasn't been on for like six years, but there's still an archive of like 50 episodes that you can go listen the to. The Dead Authors podcast was great. Oh, the Dead Authors podcast is great. You can go listen to the Dead Authors podcast, another defunct Paul F. Tompkins show. Uh, and uh, if you give uh, five bucks to Comedy Bang Bang, you can get their CVB Presents, which has like a bunch of different comedians that do monthly shows like uh, Tim Baltz, who is really fantastic uh, as the kind of effete husband on um, uh, The Righteous Gemstones, has a show called uh, Hey Randy, where he plays a sort of Midwest bro uh, doing an advice podcast um, uh, and with his, with his friends and then sort of dealing with his duplicitous uh, on again, off again girlfriend uh, played by his uh, real life wife. Um, uh, uh, 
Lily Sullivan. There's some recommendations. Those are good. Those are all good. Those are good recommendations. I just turned all the lights on in my room because it's starting to get a little dark. It is getting a little dark. Um, uh, we... Paul F. Tompkins has a new show, newish show called The Neighborhood Listen. That's his like currently going thing where he does like he has guests and they they do long uh, improv scenes based off of like next door posts where they like spend an hour interviewing the subject of a, a post on next door. Huh. Um, that's fun. Should we hold court? Yeah, we should hold court. Uh, we should also say that our our cabinet making is is still going. And my hope is that midway through holding court, someone just rocks up with a cabinet. Um, our goal here is to just get people. Oh, oh, Keith. Something yeah. I realized. Um, who are we swaying right now? Ludwig Gross, our bishop, who likes us plus five. No, we should be swaying one of these faction people. Oh so yeah, we only needed to get this guy plus five. We don't need anybody else. Yeah, we should sway um, um, maybe this guy. Oh, uh, Hollywood Handbook is in a, is in a renaissance since uh, joining Headgum, and that's a comedy podcast. Headgum, that's Ugh. the 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 new ish podcast network started by uh, the those uh, college humor guys from Forever Ago, Jake and Amir. Oh yeah, um, sure. David Cross has a new podcast on that platform that, but I haven't heard it yet. Um, it's a few months old. Um, Count Shack, Sway. Go for it. Ludwig Gross, our bishop. Sorry. There's been a couple calls to save the game post -feast. Oh, yeah. The game auto saves really well, does, Crusader Kings. Yeah. Um, but Every year. Know. It auto saves once a year. It's good to have a manual, a manual save. Um, it is. It, Emmanuel save is our next, uh, Emmanuel ruler, save. <laughs> you generally will, um, you will generally uh, not have to go back too far if you fuck up. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, it will be unavailable for five years. It costs prestige. We are extremely prestigious. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Okay. Hello. Hello. The man who approaches my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, he begins his speech. I represent the local community of Cagliari. In the last few months, our cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies. All had been dug up and left no trace. At first, we feared wild animals or obscure powers at work. But then your own court physician, Alpha, was caught red-handed hauling the dead away for his experiments. Please put a stop to this blasphemy. Studying the human body is a sad necessity. We gain encouraged grave robbing. Every non-callous or sadistic courtier or guest loses Ted opinion of you. Uh, Alpha gains, uh, our, our doctor gains intrigue and learning, and there's a chance that he gains 10 trait experience in novice physician. Guards arrest the grave robber. We lose him, and that's bad. But the yeah. cemeteries are safe. Or Alpha just cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha loses 10 opinion of us. County of Cagliari gains safe cemeteries for 10 years. Every courtier and guest loses five opinion of you. Uh, ooh. I would like like to have a doctor. Yeah, I think it's just cut it out, Alpha. Just cut it off. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. Oh, Munificent King Gerthard, I am Muni. That's why he says Munificent. And I have traveled far to ask for your aid in writing a great injustice. The man in front of me bows deeply before continuing with his well-rehearsed plea. My niece, High Chiefess Shazdaha, currently sits on the throne of Kairuan, but I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you and serve you loyalty, loyally until the end of my days. It is a beautiful day for a war. Please depart at once. I cannot risk offending the High Chief Des. I cannot help you, but please enjoy my hospitality. Where is this? Oh, we can't interrupt the. No, 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 we can. Oh, we, we can. just go back okay. in. Okay, that's down here. There are some things I think it blocks you from doing when you're holding court. 
And she has 3,000 soldiers. Okay. It's not that far away. We are right there. Yeah, and how many soldiers do you have? None. None. So she has 3,000 if her armies come, and we have 2,000. Uh, what do you think, Keith? I think that, that this is a terrible idea. <laughs> because we have our own shit that we're dealing with. Okay, please enjoy my hospitality. My lord, my steward Count Shaq takes the floor. This guy. I have an idea to improve taxation. You could send surveyors to question your subjects about every property, its name, owner, extension, and value, and how many people and animals live there. Very well proceed with the survey. This guy still does not care for us. We lose the gold. He likes us. Yeah. If I want gold to... that we don't have even close, by the way. Yeah. If I want to improve taxation, I can just ask for more taxes. We gain five gold from every vassal, and all the vassals hate us. Right. Or it's not worth it. And then Count Shaq loses 20 opinion of us. This is a lose-lose, lose. but we just have to do the... We just have to take it from this guy. This stupid 16-year-old idiot who wants to be king and can't see a good thing, can't look a good thing in the mouth. Can't good horse. Well, he's trying to look the gift horse in the mouth of being made uh, uh, money guy. What is it? Survey. No. 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 Steward. Steward, right. Okay, so you're saying we just say it's not worth it, or are you saying we go into debt to begin this survey to get better taxes? Sorry, say again? Are you saying that we just tell him it's not worth it? Yeah, or, we just tell him yeah. it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Count Shack. Because we don't we definitely don't want everyone hating us fifteen more. No, no, we don't. For five percent more gold, not worth it. Okay, that went well. Let's keep the clock going. Yeah. My beneficiary Jordan insists that the funds I have supplied with him are not enough to create Jordan. an artifact worthy of my statue. With just a bit more gold, I could create something truly magnificent. We could give him 50 gold and he'll Which make a have. one or make do with what you have. Uh, He's the one that wasted all that money on the miniature. Yeah, you're right, Keith. He should have some more. On the cabinet for ants. Okay. Uh, you're in debt. I'm not worried about that. Do you remember how the side... Oh, we gave him the money? Of course we did. Oh. It's important oh. to support art. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm taking a stand. Uh, they they really... They, our vassals like us less when we're in debt, which is really, really funny. Okay, so... Grundin, my daughter, wants to sign an alliance. And I think we should take this. You know, she's not mm, great. No, I don't think so. You say no to our daughter? Right, because then we're going to get dragged into some dumb shit war that she starts. That's true. We don't have to show up, but yeah, okay. How's, how's Plague doing? Oh, well. Oh, it's an inverted cross. Whoa, it's Krolo. I can't remember. Is that a good omen or a bad omen? It's pretty good, right? If you're the devil, right? Yeah, if you're the devil. Devil quite likes an inverted cross. Oh, shit. Uh, Loisa de Ben has consumption, but I think she has consumption for regular reasons. Not from, for plague reasons? She's a guest, which means she could have come from anywhere. Where are you? She's in Labord. Oh, oh, well, she's over there, so I don't know. Oh, okay. You know. That's fine. Wait, is she over there or is she from there? Because how is she our guest? Oh, no, she is here. She's in Labord, visiting your court. Why do Why we have that... a court? Why do we have a court there? We don't have a court there. That's got to be a bug. Maybe she was just our guest. Oh, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Her name is Guest Falls the Third. Oh no. She's done it. She sent an ultimatum. 
Wow. Duke Gisela says, The right to rule Hungary belongs to me by divine right, and I finally have the means to make it so. Accept this fact peacefully, or I will make you do so by force. I, I wonder guess if we hadn't shit. gone into debt, if... Uh... <laughs> Oh, keep let's, look the, the let's, look, let's look at the let's look at the factions real quick. Okay. Can we look at the um if we mouse over her? Oh whoops. Her, yeah, that one. Uh where is what is the title claimant? Sightly in debt. Limited crown authority community wants seat on the council. Oh, wants seat on the council. Does she have any good traits? No. No, she doesn't. No. Okay. Um, below legitimacy expectations, cultural. There's sometimes there's a oh maybe it's if you scroll over military power. The hundred forty percent thing. Oh. Base threat. Um, I I'm I'm remembering that there's a stat that's like what number they have to be at to stop being in the faction. But I don't, I'm not seeing oh. it on their thing. Hmm. Okay. I will not be threatened. Every county in the faction, the control level will change by negative 25%. Spawns an army of peasant rebels proportional to the county's levy. So she's not using her own army. This is interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Okay. Well, let's give this a go. Let's give it a go. Let's not raise any of our armies and let's raise only, let's call in all of our uh, allies. Okay. Ugh. King Elias is putting people with bad stats on the council is worthwhile IMO. Yeah, we could also, we could also put her on the council then kill her. She probably won't join the council while Oh, no, she will no, raise her own reload. armies we'd too. We have to reload the uh, last save. Okay, we're getting everybody here. How many soldiers do you have? Wait. Uh, 24, 16. Okay. So you have to arrive first. Um, call to war. She will accept. It's free because it's a defensive war. And this guy is coming. Okay. Now, you say we don't raise any of our armies? Um, we could raise some. We could raise some of them. We we'd have to switch to uh, organize, um, organize army. But why don't you want to raise? Them? I just cost money, and we're in debt. We don't want to go like too in debt. Although we probably will still be able to maintain positive a positive balance because we we make so much money right now. Yeah. Yeah, so there's tw there's oh there's a, yeah, so we this is a 3800 person army. I guess we're going to have to raise everybody. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting war. But we should we should wait until our allies get closer. Yeah, I don't know where our allies are coming from all over apparently. I think it's worth reloading the save just making her putting her on the council and seeing what happens. Yeah, okay. And then if it if it if we fuck it up then She'll just, our old people will just get their jobs back. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you want to come back to work? Is this after the um, holding court? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Okay, well, we'll just do this quickly. They might be new. Let's see. No. Oh. Alpha, cut it off. I can't help you, but please enjoy my hospitality. It's not worth it. My business here is done. <laughs> Very quick court. Very, very quick uh, court. Oh, did we did we not place our things? We, those might be useful to place. Oh, place our decorations? Our banners, yeah. Oh, um, let's see. No, they're there. Oh, okay. I was looking higher up and seeing blank wall space. No, 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 we're all good. Yeah, um, okay. okay. Right, lady, what are you best at? Learning spy master shit. Oh, they're both best at spy master shit. I think we should make her our marshal. Okay. Cool. And then make the other guy our spy master. Our marshal is our mother. No. No, oh. just Mayor Benedicta. She's great. She's great. Okay, diplomat then. Who cares? 
change her outfit. Oh, she's so bad at diplomat. She's gonna like start a war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay, okay. Uh, so uh, it's tough. To, it's tough. Steward, right? No, Count she only Shaq has to be the there steward. for as long as it takes us to kill her. Okay, fine. Come on. <laughs> you, come on, you idiot. You buffoon. Come on. Ah, uh, she's not quite as bad as seat on the council. Battle Opus, who's my nemesis. I'm gonna do this by uh, um, by power. Yeah. Ah, uh, there she is. Yep. <laughs> Eighty-four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, and then we've, we've got to make uh, the witch our spy master too. No, we can't because the the our current spy master is Count Jack. The uh... no, that's Count Mariano. Yeah, we never did that. We never changed it. Okay. Uh, what's this guy called? Lambert the shy. Lambert the shy. Yeah, so shy that Jack can never remember his name. Yeah, way too shy. Okay, now I'm gonna let the game run a little bit. He he holds more territory than we do. Yeah. Okay, concerns an ultimatum at any time. Uh, I'm gonna sway this guy because he fucking hates me. Oh, we're already swaying. we're already swaying him. Yeah. Grundin wants an alliance. Nope. The cabineteer never called. Oh no, he didn't call, did he? Not no, this time. Not this time. Oh, Louisa got consumption, though. Ah, right. Now here's the thing. Yeah, look at this. Damn. Okay. Right. Right. Bring back. Bring back. Uh. Mayor so-and-so. Mayor Benedicta. Yeah, reassign. Oh, shit. I did that wrong. Okay. She's our marshal. Our chancellor is going to be... If you click on the uh, the thing, you can sort it yeah, by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it oh. could be Countess Gertrude. She doesn't like us, but she's a vassal. She wants a council seat. Okay. No, wait. She... Uh, she, she's not interested in a council seat. That's interesting. Huh. Uh, but, you know. Doesn't like us very much. And then our spy master. Oh, um. What are you thinking of? I was just thinking of of reasons why those guys that hate us might hate us so bad. Can we go back to the uh, to can we look at the 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 people who are warring against us, the witch and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and Giselle and her negatives on us, which are at this point minuscule. Um, Cultural acceptance. More. Okay, so she's a duchess. Okay, she doesn't so like that we have lovers pox. No, that's that's big bad. I thought that maybe we we weren't some of their rightful lieges, but if they're dukes, then we are their rightful liege. Or or maybe that we have uh right. we control counties in their duchies. They don't like that either. Uh allies time. Yeah. Um Chrome Viper says, if you kill the person they want on the throne, they have to legally stop. I have discovered agents at my court, obviously in the employ of my nemesis and vassal, Count Bato Orbus. He ord went ordered to withdraw them, the Count acquiesced, but I might have to keep an eye out. Dark whispers precede dark deeds. More like Count Bastard Orbus. Yeah, yeah, that's what I call him too. Okay, here come our allies. We should uh, start trying to kill uh, Giselle. Yep. Um, 
what's the easiest way to do this here? Yeah. Giselle! Sorry, I do quite like you. Predicted agent. Oh, no. One. No, we can't do it. Okay. I'm going to make a rally point here. Yeah, that's smart. Where is it? Oh, where's the button? Oh, is this... Is this maybe one outside of our... Oh, no, that's it. It's in. I might be because we don't own it. Where is the I usually think we the can button? make a rally point anywhere that that is in our our um, realm. Who made a new faction? Why would someone make a faction now? What an obnoxious thing! Yeah, but our rival did lose a thing. Uh, okay, Duke Antal wants to install himself, Duke Antal of Somagi. Hey, we almost he almost married Anno. Oh, he did almost marry Anno. Uh, now we should maybe maybe we can kill him. Not really, no. Not really. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Ugh. It's in the military screen, okay. Um Yeah, here we go. That's where it goes. Oh, they are besieging that one immediately, so no. Uh, I'm going to put it uh, here. Okay. It's still still pretty close. They they will try and snuff you out like... Uh, we should put it in... in Cologne. Where? Uh, east, west, west, west. Here? Yeah, like... Yeah, it's like right there, basically. Oh, I see. Cologne is there. Um, hmm. Okay, come on, allies. Oh, there's one ally. Okay, so I'm going to raise the armies and start them uh, showing up. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, no, we don't We, we don't want to do that. That's fine. Uh, we should make sure that we are uh, organizing army. Oh, yeah. Marshal. Organize the army. Okay, and I'm just going to go straight for their capital, I think. Not not now, I mean once. You think so? Isn't that, doesn't that, is there a better... Um... Well, you can get 50 war score just from fighting. Oh, that's true. Um, although there, you know, there's no... Oh, and you don't want to be, um, like, hungry while you're trying to win a battle. You can be hungry while you're besieging all, all you want. Um, what do we think? He likes to focus on the ruling of a realm. Based on his stats, at least. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Count Adon made a faction against me now. <laughs> Install they Prince blood in the Salomon. Water. Yeah, they really do. This is sort of... It's too weak. But we'll... we'll... It'll be fine. We're going to sort this out. Oh, what the fuck? Why are we now the leader of a liberty faction against the Holy Roman Empire? <laughs> Someone was <laughs> forced to join faction. Oh, we were forced to join? We were forced to join by the blackmailer. <laughs> we, we don't have to do anything about this, do we, Q? I don't know. I've never been forced to join a Liberty faction before. We want lower crowd authority. Leave. Forced to stay. Why are we in... Why are we in all these factions, game? <laughs> why do we want No, to... these are not... We're not in all of these. These are just all the factions oh, against our Oh, against our leash. Right, right, we're right. We're only right. in one of these. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, fine. We're the leader of this faction, apparently. We got, we got other stuff to worry about. Oh, Count Sack liked that. How oh, nice. Uh, that's the first army of Dole. That's on its way. Mm 
Yeah, they can stop. We're looking for handouts. <laughs> Greetings, my implacable liege. I've arrived in Iglesias to pay homage to you. Glorious king as a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is enough evidence of my honor. Shall count Orzakor in at once? His scraping means nothing to me. Okay, come on in. I don't know who you are. Okay, he has, like, pledged his allegiance to me, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, my court increased. It's power. We could join Count Zach's hunt in Xongrad. I think we should, uh... Not. Stay the course. Battle Obus died. Fuck that guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. A commoner of Hungarian heritage has been accosted in the streets of Cagliari. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince my steward, Count Ksak, the equally Hungarian of my good character, but I might risk alienating my Swabian peers. Mm. No. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we can afford this. I am sitting around the map table with Count Adan and Prince Lampert, discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Adan bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies, what might, while Lampert nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of, attri of attrition. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. Um. Interesting. Adon has the right idea. We want to do this. Enemy fatal casualties increased. Attacker advantage increased. Okay. Okay. Come on, doll. Hateful House Jack is now in the hands of Anna, an <laughs> unlanded, surely just as wicked as her predecessors. Everyone knows of Bator Obus's killing of Hern Mammon. Did that happen? <laughs> Yes, yeah, it did. <laughs> but what of the future? Nothing changes, jack dogs are all the same, or this has gone on far enough, gains weak family. No! Well, whose prison are you in? Count Gurgly, okay. Sure. <laughs> 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 oh, what a good game. Herman's killer's daughter's in the prisons of Count Gurgly! Keith, Keith! Keith yeah. Did you hear, by the way, that Count Vid of Bax has heaves? <laughs> That's gonna be such a good episode title. <laughs> Count Vid of Bax has heaves. <laughs> Bax has heaves. <laughs> this guy's taken forever. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe they should try getting a job. Come on. What? What? Uh, handouts? What are they called? Hoves? What are they called? Dull. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember. The prince they... of, I'm the prince of handouts. I'm the prince of handouts. Host a grand tournament? Absolutely not. Visit a brothel? Oh, oh, we should go to the brothel, right? Oh, it's no. 60 gold. No. No. Okay, he is sending... Count Sack is sending a, a an ultimatum? No, he's fighting the war on behalf of Sack. But I think Sack is in the, is in the thing. Do you see who this is? Yeah, it's Count Vin of Bax. Oh my god. He has heaves, he wants the whole thing! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we gotta figure this out. This is fine. This what is can fine. we talk what about what about our liege? Well, what does he have to say about this? We'd have to travel and petition our liege. Oh god, okay, hang on. Jakob von Friedenthal is joining us temporarily as a new chancellor. Okay. Oh. okay. The Alexa may... Lily in the chat says, Count Vid of Bax with heaves? How could he? How could he? Hey, let's get that thousand. We can get that guy. We can cut him off at the pass. At Beckus. Army is going to take attrition. Move will that result happens. in a hundred. <laughs> it happens. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, look. His armies are now showing up. Oh, this sucks, Keith. We got to isolate. Isolate. Get that. To change course to the 1200. We can get that. We can get them for sure.
Zarand is under siege. Znojmo favor spreads. We may we may lose hungry here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We'll be fine. We will be just fine. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay, that's uh we should do yeah, I think we I think we should go for their armies. Okay. Or we should just like Yeah. Rush these guys. Yeah. Or down here or the the three. The three. Oh, the armies are gonna meet. Come on, I need allies. Come on, I need allies. We're coming. Oh, you run away. Oh. oh, this is going to be pretty good. You will probably win. Nice. Our knight, Wilbert von Vistigen, killed Agatha. Who Sick. are we even fighting now? I don't know which army we're fighting, but we are fighting them. Ratso got wounded. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the cabinet! <laughs> Finally! Finally, it's the cabinet! They're playing the Crusader Kings theme over this cabinet news. <laughs> my lord, my beneficiary Jordan gestured me over to an object covered in fabric with a wide grin on his face. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. He whips off the covering, and my eyes grow wide as I see what's hidden beneath. A cabinet of very fine craftsmanship. It is constructed from walnut panels. The wood is inlaid with tortoiseshell decorations. This is lovely. Oh, that's great. Well, hang let's, on. Well, let's see what its stats are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it will be. It would be in our court. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Goes in the middle there. Oh my God! It's gonna oh, go it here. Inside. King Gerhardt's cabinet boosts our piety. <laughs> Okay. Nice. A tiny but elegant inscription runs on its side, dedicating it to his still friend Ludwig. Whoa, it's huge. It is huge. Oh, what a great cabinet. Well, back to war. <laughs> wow, and it's the it is the um second lowest possible rarity. Oh, great. It goes blank then green, which is what we have. Huh. And th and then purple and then orange that's the normal way it goes i think that went well oh, there's blue there's blue there's we blue. should go down south here and kick the shit out of these guys now right i don't know if we have what it takes but we should we've got to there's no other choice hey we should hire some uh, we should go into debt to hire we should go slightly into debt to hire some mercenaries to help out with that fight okay it's gonna be attrition but that's fine um, military, mercenaries. To go down? Huh? We're going north. Should We should go south. Oh, you want us to take out these guys, do you think? Yeah, I think I think so. I think it's, uh, if not now, when? You know? Mm. Especially with the, uh, Alemannic cell swords on our side. Okay. <laughs> you seem upset. No, oh, not no. there! No, no, it's okay. It's not that far away, and it's free to make them, to make them come. Yeah, they have their own boats. Yeah. It's pretty far away, Keith. It is pretty far. It's pretty far. It's pretty far. They always do that. They always go to your capital. I don't know why. Is there, anyone in the chat uh, know if there's a way to make them not go to, to your capital? I still think you should go to the south and try and take out uh, the clock. I am going to the south. Oh, okay. Including the mercenary? It looked like the mercenaries were going to the... Oh, Aryan. oh, yeah, let me see. Where are my useless mercenaries? They're oh, not yeah. useless. There's nearly a thousand. There is nearly a thousand, I suppose. There's nearly there's a thousand. A, there's 800 if there's one. They will all die on that path, says Double Forte. Oh, we captured some enemy combatants. Who did we get? Mary Trout of Pop Rad and three others. Oh, God. Are any of these guys good? Good at what? For seven gold? No, they're not. Okay. 
Hey, how much gold do our enemies have? Oh, good question. Well, eh, you know. Okay, better than us. We're not in the world's greatest position. No, not really, no. We should, we should, because we're already at a disadvantage, we really should pause and not go to this attrition route. Okay. It may be too, that's too late. But we should stop there at that first one and then, and then, uh, cut, uh, west. We should stop here. Yeah. And then go this way? Yeah, go to Kev. Kiev. Kiev. Like that? Yeah. Oh, dear me. These guys are like slinking off over there. Yeah. I don't feel good about this. Where are mercenaries? What? Takes a long time to get on those boats. Please, Archambald mules. This insane grudge has got to stop. I'm scared to go anywhere, and I jump at the mere mention of a jack. My nephew is clearly shaken. I'm torn between <laughs> the risk post my family and the need to teach Anna a lesson. I just so this is what I talked about the last time we talked about uh, the last episode. There's like three jacks in the whole world. <laughs> they're they're unlanded. They have no money. But we're gonna fucking get them. Yeah, there's we're gonna no get them. There's no extra dialogue for there being like a huge, um, powerful family that you're feuding with, and there being just like three guys, uh, you know, that you happened to meet. Yes, we should save. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're going to go fight these guys now, the hoplites of Rodopes. Uh He's sending in a big army, but hopefully we're all going to meet at about the same time and slug it out. You'll probably lose. You should, uh, you should make them come to you. Oh, the war has begun. Oh, okay. We just made a save, so... Oh, oh, you'll probably win. That's oh. like losing, but the other way around. We really, we really need to stop letting, uh, starting these fights before you lose a ton of momentum when, see that? This is like really bad. You lose a ton of momentum when that happens. Yeah. I think we should reload to our save just from now. Wait for the uh, allies to catch up with us and then move into right. that zone. I think that if we do that, we will end up winning. I hope so. We did capture some people, chat, but uh, yeah, not, they're not. They're nobody. They're not. Not. Not good. Okay, so we should wait for these guys to catch up. This we should cancel this move. Yeah. Wait for these guys to catch up. Correct. I know that oh. there's a dangerous faction. Oh, guys. come on! What? Guys. Well, <laughs> allies only move when you do. Yep. Maybe we should move on to their square. No, because then they'll... Well, let's see what they do. Because they, they give you, especially on one speed, there's a lot of leeway for... They may they may let us join up with them and then move back with us. I hope it'll so. Give our, it'll give our, our stupid mercenaries time to... I shouldn't say that. They're good guys. <laughs> um, they're honorable to a man. Uh, <laughs> to 863 men. They're honorable to 863 men. Well, now where are we going? Now they're moving over there. Yeah, yeah, we should fall. We should go with them. We should go with them. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, then we can all move to the fight together. Hang on. I can't, I can't select my own Wait, army. Wait, pause, 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 pause. Can you can't select all? Are we, are you sure we're not moving? Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're gonna go fight these losers down here, right? Yeah. This but, is it. This is good. This we is wait how this goes. To arrive. It's the old guy. It's fine. If we play if we play it, if we play this right. Jesus Christ. It's so many. Do we have anybody else we can call to this war? No, we can start marrying some kids. They may, they may not um, join. They may not. It may not work if we're at war. Sometimes they, they're weird about that. They're like, "Hey, you don't want this marriage just because of the war, do you?" <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. No, don't go over there. No, if it's okay, 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 okay. it's okay, it's okay. He'll, 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 he'll. They figured it out. Yeah, they figured it out. Now everybody's joining. This is fine. We sort of anticipate this. Come on. Come on. Oh, their general's so good. Oh, no. Look at how good. Tragedy. Tragedy strikes. Maybe we've got to wait for those, uh, we've got to wait for those, those mercs. Okay. Okay. We got this. Bring me the mercenaries! Um, we also have another option. Yeah. Of um, going after that small army that we already beat, the yellow, the yellow cross guys. Oh, just chasing them down. Yeah, just turning west and uh, chasing them down. Yeah, that might be the play actually. Let them, um, let them do what they're going to do down there. Our pack sealed in amber, who has now realized that they were thinking of of um, total war, said, "You could manually fight the war, which is an extremely funny thing to read in a game where you can't." Yeah, yeah, you cannot manually do anything in this game. The only thing you can do is like micromanage the armies, like position, yeah, like like try and catch someone unaware. You know, where are my guys? Oh. They're crossing the strait between Reggio Calabria and Messina. Classic them. Classic them. Yep. Oh, hang on. I'm going to start thinking about doing some killing. Great. I think that's great. Because who who is... Okay, hang on. Hang on. Right. It's very unlikely that we can kill her, but if we kill... It's really hard to kill someone while you're at war with them. Because they're like, they're like... Yeah. You know, ready to go. But if we can kill these, um... People at the head of factions who are going to install the... Uh... <laughs> this sucks. Okay. Oh, the other thing is that it would be great to win outright, but we can aim for a white piece. Uh, a white piece. Yeah. You want to explain what a white piece is? Uh, yeah, it's basically where um, uh, to get like to enforce your demands, you need to get a hundred percent war score. But a white piece basically means that everyone agrees to just pretend the war never happened. <laughs> you basically just go back to to what. To the status quo pre-war, um, and uh, 
it sort of legally protects the attackers, um, but stops the war. And it's essentially it's a loss um, for for the attackers. Prince um, Lampert has arrived. He's pleased to see that I'm thriving. He wants us to take in this lady, but I must politely decline. Uh, wait, what's her stats? Her learning is really, really, really good, but we can't replace our bishop. Right. So. Literally can't. Literally can't. Darkness is your old friend says, thriving is one way to put it. Okay, we're going to win this. Yeah, this is this is good. Low county control, this little I got up here means. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, you think? Oh, man. The good news is we're still making money. So, you know, if we can drag this on long enough. Oh, yeah, we're making money. Yeah. And that's what matters in life. Oh, that is what matters in life. Getting that coin. We captured Zoltan, the spy master of your vassal, Count Vid, after winning the Battle of Baranaya. Ooh, that's something. That's Count Vid of Bax. We could release him with a hook. Uh, if we release him, it will our war score will go down. Ah. Uh, right. Uh, no. Va valuable targets are worth war score. No. Oh. I guess he's not valuable enough. Not a family member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um, let's think about this. Uh, okay, Zoltan is the spy master, who I am going to negotiate his release with a weak hook. In fact, everybody gets out with a weak hook. Let's do some killing. <laughs> Let's do some killing. Why is it just farmyard sounds here? <laughs> <laughs> we're near farms. Okay. Right, right, right. Now we are besieging Baranaya. Everybody's like, okay. Okay. I love how you say bye to all the yeah, yeah, yeah. prisoners. Waving them off. Bye. Farewell. <laughs> it was nice to have you. Bye. See ya. Okay. Now, Zoltan's liege is King Vid of Bax. He has heaves, doesn't he? I've heard that King Vid has heaves. Oh no! I don't mean uh, to load game. I mean to save. Do game. we do we want to kill Vid of Bax or or um, Sax? Well, that's Sax a good point. is the claimant. But Vid has the spy master. We, yeah, have... we definitely have people in that court. We should check to see if it'll work. If they'll work against Sax, though. Yeah, I've made the. Army. I've made the save so we can... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Right. Yeah. Well, let me see how, how likely I can get it against Vid first. Um, and I'm going to invite... Get the hell out of here. Um, because if you kill Vid, I think what will happen is that the commander of that army will just be the a Vid's heir. Yeah, and you're at war... Which, it's so hard to kill at war. Well, it's so well, hard to do that kind of killing. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Let's see. Where am I? Where is... Where am I? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Hungary is at war in a major way. Um. Right. Uh, Hungary's at war in a major way. It sounds like a really funny educational rap lyric. 
Uh, uh, 5% chance to kill. 5% chance to kill. But that doesn't include anyone that we have hooks. No, no, you're right. Okay, I'm going to try and murder Count Shack. Nobody wants to join. Tough. Tough but fair. Okay. A classic Judge Judy situation. <sighs> Judge Judy. She's 7,000 years old. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to get a King Kill vid scheme running? I think it will end up being worse to get, and this is, you know, the stupid morals of the time. It will end up being worse getting caught for attempted murder. It'll, it's much better just to kill a thousand people in the war than to be caught trying to kill a king and failing. I think you're right. I do think you're right. I can't believe all these people declared war on us right after we made we gave them hundreds of dollars and made them, um, yeah, gave them council seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they. Uh... This always works for me. <laughs> I think that potentially, the potentially, the issue is it takes like a month or two for uh, that stuff to like catch up. So you'll give someone gold, and then like two months later, they'll be off the board. We did a lot of right. stuff with, like, one month remaining. Where are my boys? My boys! My boys! My boys, come and meet me here. Chat wants to get a look at the map and see how fucked the geopolitics looks. It's not great. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Moved by my tribulations, Duchess Gisela has offered me her counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burdens of my duties. However, Gisela's attentions have incurred the ire of Duke Lampert. Gisela is not to be trusted. This is merely a ploy to exploit you, my liege. You're both at war with me. Yeah, do you know that, that they're allies fighting me? Um. Oh. Is there value in having a hook on Duchess Gisela? Um, maybe. Can you use a, a hook to, to offer peace? I don't know. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. This thing with the, imp with the, um, they'll gain better opinion of us doesn't mean a lot, right? If we're at war. No, she had 80 opinion on, uh, of us when she declared war. Yeah, we should get this. We should get this trust. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, she's left the war. Wow. She left the war. She left her war for her. <laughs> for her own claim. Well, so now who? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. So it's the it's the peasants and the idiot and the witch. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... That's great. Okay. And my, my boys have arrived. Great. We're close to finishing this siege, so we should probably just wrap that up, right? And then go kick the shit out of these guys. <laughs> yeah, well, what's the white piece situation with the, with, uh, the yellow cross? Uh, oh, we'll accept. Brilliant. Contested title remains with you. A title revocation reason is given on every rebelling vassal. You lose 31 stress because you are arrogant. Sorry, gain. You lose 30 opinion of Count Vid. We can imprison them. We can imprison them. We can imprison them. We can imprison them. We should do some imprisoning. Don't you think, Keith? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gamble, but I think that we should. Now, this isn't the big armies. But it knocks this one out. It does knock it out, yeah. Okay. Right. Let's get one of these down. King Helia says, I say press for victory, IMO. <laughs> oh, 
We're not gonna. We're not gonna win. We also we have another um, faction that is about to declare war on us. So maybe that's the one we press for victory on. Yeah. Okay. Now they've all stopped. A faction targeting you has disbanded. And you know what the really good thing about this is? Where are you now, fuckers going? The big so Giselle is like the strongest person in Hungary, basically. No, she's not. Now it's uh Duke Antal, right? Um they're they're like they're both top two, I think. Um we get her levies now for our war, our other wars. So oh. if you look, we, we've got actually a thousand more soldiers than we did at the start of the war. Have they just added to our army? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. When we take this city, we're going to kick the shit out of these guys? That sounds good. I don't know why these guys aren't helping me. It's so annoying. <laughs> They're playing lookout. I think the game knows when adding more soldiers won't really help. Oh, that's a lot of soldiers. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody. Can we befriend that guy? Who are we befriending now? <laughs> uh, nobody. Oh, sorry. I meant sway. Uh, but we're not we swaying should, anybody. We should just, just for, just for, you know, all the long shot of it. We should start, we should start swaying this guy. This guy, Prince Lampert. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who's fighting whom. Um, uh, good point. Uh, God damn it. Why says uh, that we should try re-raising soldiers at our our mustard point there. Just in case we've got unraised where soldiers. Where is mustard? Where is I mustard? Think it was right where you were. You were like hovering over it. Oh, it's yeah. in Kiev. Um, yeah, we got 2000 soldiers here. It says that we can't. It's because oh, it's occupied. occupied. Oh, okay. Well, then we should raise them somewhere else then. A uh, purple? Uh, there's also a blue to the east, but I don't know if it's occupied or not. It is, okay. Oh, it's in enemy territory. Okay. Hang on. Let me just make a new one real quick. What's that? What's that war? That, what is that battle that's being fought right now? The gray versus oh, the enemies? They're all fighting each other. That's great. The, the, everybody is now... What we've created basically is a succession war of Hungary. Right. This is like a five-pronged uh, civil war. Yes. And we're going to go and kill whoever wins this battle. And we're nearly in um, the black. How is our, uh, how's our supply rate? Uh, let's see. 121 okay, we're good. of 150. That's good. Okay, everybody's going to Bax. I need everybody to go kill these guys. Ooh, a pincer movement. Why did they do that? This is a classic pincer. Uh, it's probably the movement bonuses of the generals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romantic plague has spread. Oh, we can call allies to war? Whoa. Why? No, they're still in the war. Oh. Oh, we've only called them to one of the wars. And that <laughs> war o is over. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we, we, we could call them to the other war. That makes sense. Okay. Great, 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 great. Great, 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 great. We're good at this, Keith. We know what we're doing. Yeah, we're, we, we're good at this. We know what we're doing. It is a, it's a clusterfuck getting your head around these big battles sometimes. But uh, the AI also can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it ends up, uh, you know, as long as you have some allies and some oh, mercenaries. Uh-oh, oh, uh uh-oh. Uh come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, it's a real killer to have uh, uh, one of the army, one of the big armies join late. That's tough. yeah. 
I love that it's Winston. Noble Hornet says no one pay attention to the dozen reloads. We only reloaded twice. <laughs> it's part of the game. And they were both very early on. One of them was after only one battle. Uh, What do we want to besiege here? We want to besiege... Oh, that'll do. Yeah, go and help them out. <laughs> white peace, white peace, white peace. We'll not accept just. Just. We can probably do this on a siege. I think that I think that we can. Uh, we might be able to get full uh, enforced demands on some of these. There's some stuff going on up here that I don't love. That I don't love, but yeah, but they're only they're we're minus seventeen. We That's captured like, Heraklios. In the afternoon. Whoa, we captured Heraklios. <laughs> cool. What are we gonna do with you? What's this guy's deal? He's Greek and he's a great marshal. Uh, you can just hang out in there for the time being, I think. Get ready to increment the died in my dungeon counter. Do you want to know what our big project should be? What? Other we than holding start, on to... We should start a religion. Oh, wow. We don't have the piety for it, but... No, but one day. If one we... day we'll have a smart kid... We'll have a smart kid with a ton of learning. I love that they're fighting each other. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how is my mercenary contract going? I got 22 months left. Hey, that's not so bad. If we no. win this, Keith, we should name this Alsace. We should change the name of Hungary to Alsace. I agree. This will this will cement it. We were obviously we were um rejected by the nobility of Hungary and it will impose Germany onto them. Hey, Keith, I have a question. Mhm. Mm All these pissy nobles who went to war with us and then we got right to imprison them. Why don't we just imprison them and give their land to people who like us? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. What's the risk there? There's, uh, oh, their family will have claims and be mad. Oh, sure. Yeah. You could form a hybrid culture with the Sardinians. That's really funny, but not right now. We got stuff to attend to. <laughs> the Alexa Lily says, I bet the Hungarians who hate you would love if you change the name of the place that they live. What Hungarians? You mean the Alsatians? <laughs> I think that actually changing the name doesn't do anything, but I could be wrong. I don't I don't think that Yeah, I don't think it's it's like you know. Okay, well, that's done. Um We might we could get a white piece here is the thing. Yeah. But do you want to We also gain 31 stress. Oh, but we're good on stress right now. But do you want to push harder there? What's the I don't know. We 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 gotta be careful because we're about to get a war declared on us again, right? Very possibly. Who would we be knocking out here? Duchess Gisela is the thing. Who's we're cool with? So yeah, I guess that that's fine. There's two thousand soldiers in this war, and there's. 4,000 soldiers in that war. I think we should go, we should we should offer the white piece and then go knock out the uh, the 2,200 to the northeast. These guys. Yeah. That's the war we would be knocking out. Oh, okay. Well, then straight north then. Take out these guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's do this white piece. Um... Okay. Now, what's interesting here is that I don't believe this is actually going to disband the Gisela faction. It's just going to slow them way down. Oh, uh, no, knock them because out of the he's war. the last person in it, and he will be ineligible to join factions for five years. So oh. unless the peasants stay in it, which I don't think they will. No. Vassals who cannot join factions. Look at all these people who were in the war. <clears throat> yeah, we're... Yeah, we're slowly 
adding every vassal to Come vassal of transactions. Yeah. Okay. Duchess Matilda might join the war for Duke Antals. Okay, right. Duchess Matilda. She has 294 soldiers. I'm not dreadfully worried not about worried that. Not worried about it. Yeah. She should think twice, honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you, where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, Jay Harkins is wild how many of them just genuinely like you. I think it's an issue of being the count of a duke. Who's oh, yeah. You just start heading north. Just start heading north. And then we'll kill anybody who gets in the way. <laughs> Lots of them have no choice. Yeah, some heads are going to roll after this, I think. Um, but I want to I want to put out all the fires before I start lighting. Hey, we should combine our armies there. We should hit the combine oh, armies yep. button. Oh, you know what we should also do, Keith? What's up? Uh, we should um, take this rally point. I'm going to move it, like, here. And we should do that trick again. Because we have 2,000 soldiers here waiting for us. Oh, very nice. And those armies should join up. Reverie's cool says, no hard feelings about that whole trying to overthrow you thing, right? We're good? Oh, wow. Our feud with House Jack has been a disaster. We are no closer to revenge and their outrages only continue. If we are to end this vendetta properly, perhaps it is time to deliver the coup de grace. Sorry, uh, name one outrage? <laughs> name an outrage. <laughs> Their boss died. Uh, it is Anna's time. Martin stays unnumbered. I have other plans for them. No, this was a mistake. Like, what? What are our numbers for for these? Because it's like it's sort of like, okay, I'll murder you if there's a thirty-seven percent chance of murdering him and a thirty-seven percent chance of murdering her. What? It's just not worth it. It's not worth my time. These people are nothing. They're nobodies. I have other plans for them, but we can't end it because I don't want weak family. No, other plans we only get minus uh, 15. And we can go to the brothel in just a bit, you know. Yeah. God, what a good game. <laughs> yeah, great game. Actually, come and meet, come and meet my guys here. You could do a grand tournament. N nay. Oh, right. Prince Adam. Remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. All right. So they've got, what, three, 3,500. They have 3,500 up there, and we've got 6,000, 6,500. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just going to wait until everyone's consolidated, and then... And then you ever, you're in a room and it's the perfect temperature and then you drink a hey. soda with ice in it and you're like, oh my god, it's freezing in here. No. But oh. in part because I don't drink a lot of soda with ice in it. Why are you guys going over there? We want to take over. The, we want to take this over. No. <laughs> we, we got stuff to do. Get, we want to take this. We like this. Pitten and Dole. Okay. Uh, maybe you should help them, and then as soon as it finishes, go north, see if they come with you. Yeah, And if right. you keep going north, they'll probably... Well, now what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to capture this, then I'm going to go north. They're going back. Okay. Try going north. See if they come with you. Okay. We'll just also, start with the Also, you should combine. You people. should merge your armies. Oh, yep. I love that he disappeared. There we That's... go. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming with you. They're just like, we just tried to guess what you wanted. But we guessed wrong. Sue me. God damn it, Y says, remember to shake down the Pope. Uh, yeah. We did that recently. I don't remember how recently. It was pretty recently. Oh, right. Remember that we're currently uh, running a faction war against the Kaiser? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are doing that. Can we leave that yet? Or are we are we in that forever? We have to stay for another like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
oh, we're the we're the leader of the faction, so we just are allowed to never press the, the demand. Yeah, 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 that's true. Okay, that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Well, now where are all my guys going? Nowhere. Those aren't your guys. Yeah, these are my guys. Well, your allies, yeah. What are they doing? They want to take back over some of this territory. Well, let's go besiege um, this capital up here. No, no, it's got to be on fire for it to be important. Oh, yes, you're right. Uh, I'll help them out here. Oh, we got to get into our war look. Can't believe I didn't think of this, Keith. Sometimes it only... <laughs> oh, this is also our war look? Yeah, war yeah, is yeah. A... You're saying war is a big party. Yeah, no, no, a party is a big war, please. Okay. Any plagues going on here? Oh, proud in Italy. Yeah, pretty healthy. Southern Italy is looking a little bit rough. That's actually kind of close uh, to where we're hanging out. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, we, we hope that the boot doesn't hit Sicily into us. Yeah. <laughs> the boot has been known to do that every several thousand years. Yeah, every several thousand years. The boot hits Italy. Yeah. I mean, the boot hits Sardinia. Yeah. Yeah, the boot, the boot kicks Sicily into Sardinia. This is negative nine. Incognito. Tonight I have stripped myself of every symbol signifying my rank. Do you know what I was, I, uh, what I heard the other day? What did you hear? That it didn't, it's just something that never occurred to me. Um, that Boston is basically like, uh, Rome is latitudinally in between New York City and Boston. Huh. Which Rome feels so much more south than that to me. Yes, but no. Step in and protect the soldier. There is no chance that we can beat Maya Benedicta, who has, who has been with us for a long time. She's one of our best knights. Mediate between Benedicta and the soldier. You gain one martial lifestyle perk, which might be great during a war, actually. Make an example out of them or sneak away and take the credit for the soldier's idea. You gain innovative strategy. Marshal plus one, army movement speed spins up minimum battle roll. Oh, that might be good, actually. Would you prefer the perk, or would you prefer this innovative strategy, Keith? Uh, read the perk again? Uh, oh, we just get a martial lifestyle perk. Oh, perk. Perk for sure. Okay. And we gain a loyalty, a strong hook against Heribert. We can adopt his strategy. Can we adopt him? Or we can gain another martial lifestyle perk. He looks like if you gave uh, Mr. Robot a big beard. He, do he does look like if we gave Mr. Robot a big beard. Um, I want this innovative strategy here as we're fighting the war. Um, but let me open up this. I've never seen Mr. Robot. <laughs> I have I just, also never seen Mr. Robot. Oh, I, just, I just I just, for a second couldn't remember Remy Malik's name. <laughs> Mr. Robot. He's, uh, Mr. you're Robot. thinking of Mr. Robot, I think. Yeah. Okay, everybody goes up here. Oh, this is going great. They are now besieging things down south, but no. They're on, they're on the ropes. They are on the ropes. Because we actually have a lot of soldiers up there. I don't know who you are. Oh, a neutral army. Okay. We should go to uh, Kolyam. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Split the sieges. I mean, we don't have to go now. Well, I mean... No, no, sure, let's split not? the sieges, because that way, you know, they'll yeah. they'll be fine over there. Get this capital. Cappy, as I like to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Bellum Justum. That's a cheaper Casus Belli. Uh, serve the Crown. Natural Dread and Control Growth. Or Stalwart Leader. We, I won't serve the crown. Sure. Uh, to deal with the control. Stalwart leader wouldn't be bad in a, the war. Reduces the risks of commanding armies. No. I want to start putting in place this thing of like increasing sure. that control. 
Uh, Double Forte says, we're at 0% war score. We've basically won. <laughs> They're on the ropes. They're on the ropes. The fort level here is too high and we need to add better men at arms. But my hope is that, that this army will come Hey, we could hire us. a man at arms. We could put a, a rally point right there and get a siege uh, weapon and just put it right on the thing. <sighs> do we want to do that or do we want to save our money to keep the mercenaries when the mercenary contract expires? I think we can do both. Let's see. We can't. In nine we'll, months... We'll go slightly in debt again, but... The Kaiser um, is now being attacked by Countess Ermintrude. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are I, we now in that war? Did we just get dragged into that war? No. It's a different war. <laughs> it's a different the, war. She hates the Kaiser. She hates that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's arrived. Show <gasps> him in. He's hey. Prince looking... Lambert. Wait, so to take the gold, we have to go critical, stress critical. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Here, here I come, girls. Wait, 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 but we have to spend all the gold that he's giving us plus 10. <laughs> here I come, girls. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> What's that? The order here. The order here is is falling apart. Okay. We have to say what a shambles, right? I don't know. I don't think so. Why? Because here's what's going to happen. Oh, no. No, it worked out. Okay. The, the There was like a weird order thing happening between the brothel and... Oh, okay. Right. Now, I'm going to... Put this here. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to create a men at arms. We, we, we have uh, siege weapons we can increase the size of, which is cheaper. Oh, yes, you're right. Increase size to two. Great. Faction created against you. Prince Lampert just created a faction against me. That's fine. We were just mean to him. I anticipated that something like that would happen. Um... This is a war against the Kaiser. I'm not gonna deal with that. Uh, we should call. We should. We should raise uh, troops at the green. Maria just. Yep. Um, Maria just disbanded her faction. Great. That was a pretty powerful faction, right? I think so. Okay. Darkness, your old friend says, "Got some ice cream." What did I miss? Keith and I are in a pretty hairy war, but we are doing okay. Yeah, we started at a clear disadvantage, uh, but we were able to isolate small bits of army enough to declare white peace on three wars or two? Uh, two. We have two. a plague here, Bloody Flux. Where? Here. Oh, right here, right where we're at. Yeah. Uh, How serious is Bloody Flux? Not terribly serious. Plagues are diseases that spread across the map. Yep. I think what we should do is stay here and then go travel somewhere else. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's going down. Okay, that's good. And buildings like hospitals. That's interesting. Okay. We could enter seclusion or we could isolate the capital. Interesting, but I'm not... I'm not worried. Elderly health, severe penalty. We are pretty old. And we're not fighting the war right now. No. Isolate the capital. What does this do? It doesn't say. It might not do anything. This makes me and my close family more resistant to the plague, and this... Yeah, I want to go into seclusion right now. Okay. Donut says, is there any way to get announcements or notifications when you'll stream? I just saw this stream now because I happen to open Twitch. Yeah, notifications should be on by default, but Twitch is bad at sending them, as Double Forte says. You should get a notification, um, but it... it uh, It... 
it is not good at it. Uh, a lot of the times, if you're um, a patron, uh, we tend to announce them on Patreon where you'll get an email and they're much more consistent. But that's where we're less consistent uh, because we didn't announce this on Patreon. Uh, of course, you can sign up to the Patreon as a free member. You don't get any of the benefits, but the stream announcements are obviously not a paid posts. Um, so you would still get those if you happen to not be a member on the Patreon, which is friendsofthetable.cash. I highly recommend anybody considering being a patron go uh, to friendsofthetable.cash. Sign up um, for all the different things that you can get there. Um, more than stream notifications, there's the Clapcast for just a dollar a month, and then pretty much uh, all the other shows we do for five dollars a month and then more cool stuff at the higher levels they're good shows um going into seclusion did a couple of things it reduced all our personal stats which has okay. now meant that we've gone above our domain limits that's not a problem to me right now our right. mercenary contract is expiring in three months do we want to go into debt to keep them on? i think so i think yeah. so i think it is worthwhile uh they have been stalwart guys oh countess yeah. georgia used her strong hook blackmail on me and has become our chancellor she cannot be fired for 25 years this is the one that we almost killed but it's fine because we can murder her okay she's not bad she's not though. bad she's not she's bad, not bad. Eh, maybe keep her that's fine. okay <sighs> hey what happened to that what happened to that i don't know Oh no, my wife has bloody flux. She's out and about. She's fighting the war. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by her bedside, yet not all is lost. She might survive should luck be on her side. Only God knows her fate. The physician wants to know how my doctor, sh how my queen <laughs> doctor should be treated. Treated. A safe treatment, do no more than what is necessary. The time has come for drastic measures. There will be no treatment. The choice is up to my queen. I think one or four. Yeah, let's let her decide. Adela. Man, it's spreading. I don't know why this army isn't gathering properly. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's about to to gather properly. No, they're just going to disappear. Huh, that's strange. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. It's oh, how about try to raise all men at arms here? Maybe if you just hit that. No, it's because there are no local soldiers. Oh. But we have... Oh, is it because they... Uh, after you buy a siege, like, it's got a, like generate them first when you bought when you upgrade a men at arms it has to like load them in possibly uh so something i can actually do right quick is i can have my doctor um control plagues which is good yeah uh as i walk through the county of a uh, walk through the county of bisagrad seems pleasant enough at first but closer inspection reveals something deeply unpleasant everybody's sick um, already people are calling this affliction Ruprecht's Flux. Though this might never reach the capital, providing aid where needed could prove critical in keeping it at bay. Uh, <laughs> it's very funny that they're already calling it uh, Ruprecht's Flux, and it's like, who? Who's Flux? Why? Why are they already calling it that? <laughs> okay. Um, he says that we take a light approach at best, and I think I agree. He's not He's worried about the spread, but not so much. An ally has joined... Okay. Mild epi epidemic prevention. The people expect us to be performing acts to help them. We're not going to cull the sheep. However, if we do this, our bishop will stop endorsing us. Wow. I think that we should do it. It's a 50% chance it gains a disastrous cull. Come on, good cull, please. 
fingers crossed for a good call. Oh, there we go. There's our there's our siege weapon. It just took a little time for it to load in. No, this is Mayor Benedicta. Oh, that one. Oh, we have we just have one knight spawned there. Well, just you disband. Stand down. Benedicta died. Oh God, what? Planes flux are spread. Benedicta died. She she had a fatal apoplexy. Bax is under siege. That's where Vid is from. An alliance expired. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to, I need to. Okay. Right. Right. Look, everybody, I need you to focus. <laughs> um, can I see our um, Men at Arms page? Yes. Oh, my wife is well. That's great. Hey, Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. JVP. JVP. Okay, so these guys are stationed in Montbelliard, and they're raised. So they're up. Okay. okay you know, so they're think... already raised. So I guess we need to raise them again. Are we, we need to, sorry, increase the size to three is what I meant to say. Peering through the dusty murk of the armory, my gaze travels over multiple different weapons of war. A pair of battered leather greaves, a recently sharpened sword, a spear with a worn haft, a rusty farming tool? I pick up the farming implement. Perhaps it has been lumped in unknowingly with the weapons. I heft the tool, examining its curiously curved sickle-like blade as I give it an experimental swing at a nearby hauberk. The blade pierces the mail, scattering a few iron rings across the floor. Interesting. The I glass, our war glasses be... have inspired us to get into metallurgy. Yeah, we're, 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 we're inventing metallurgy now. Uh, we are missing the money to increase it. Okay, the tyranny... Yeah! That's a win! Yeah! Oh, I thought that was against the tyranny of... Yeah, look at that. So be no, it. No, that's a win by default for us. Chalk another W up. Uh, a rusty tool. Choices, choices. Do we want to make... A... Do we want to mount it on the edge of a spear? Or turn it into a sword? Or do we leave it as is? I love the idea of it just huh. being like a... I think that, yeah, it was either that or the spear for me. Wait, so we're only at war with Kaiser Ruprecht? That's it. We're done? We're done. Wait, there's two wars. There's two wars. There's two wars. Yeah, no. This is a war for the tyranny of Kaiser Ruprecht, and this is Pomeranian conquest of the county of Prenzlau. <laughs> wait, wait, who's Ruprecht again? That's the He's flux. the Kaiser. Yeah, it's the Kaiser. Oh, that's that's who the flux of Ruprecht's flux is. Yeah. So who is... Okay. This guy is too weak to send an ultimatum. Yeah. This guy can send an ultimatum in 25 months. That's a befriend situation. Or a sway. That's a sway or befriend. These or guys can't do shit. We did it. Congratulations. Oh, this my band God. You're invited to join Duke Gebhardt's hunt. You're invited to join Duke Rubard's hunt. You're above your domain limits. That's fine because we're in seclusion. I can understand that. Those decisions are available. Disband all armies. And they said we couldn't do it. Holy shit. Okay. This is where we're going to leave it today. Yeah. I can't think of a better place to leave it. We went into this stream being... Oh, sorry, hang on. We went into this stream being like, there might be consequences for invading Hungary. And we saw the first salvo of those consequences today. There will be more, but I think that what we need to... Oh, we need to name it Alsace. Yeah, we earned it. How do we do this, Keith? I think it's under the realm tab. Uh, okay. Kingdom of Hungary. Um, I know there's a way to do this. Oh, no, that's my name. Yeah. I don't need to change my name. No, no, our, our name is fine. Um, I, I, um, I was pretty sure that there was a way to do this. Maybe if you click on the Hungry Kingdom thing to the, yeah, there. 
or no, enter the, yeah, this is the page. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Customize. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Okay. Alsace. Mm hmm. Alsatian. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Do you want to change our colors or anything? Not right now. Look at that. Because while we can't change the... Yeah, we can change it again. I don't know why they said that. That might be something to do next time. But Alsace returns. Yeah. On the major scale. Alsace. 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 When we reconvene... And now to unite the three kingdoms. <laughs> <laughs> gonna draw a line between each of them um when we return we are going to meet out some consequence I think for the people who um oh Basil Laplante says I think they said it like if you forget what the old things were there's no undo button rather than this is permanent yeah 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 oh sure um we are going to put ourselves in a better position as we enter into the twilight years of our life. Um, I would love to come back to this soon. Mm -hmm. Definitely closer to the between the last stream and this one than between uh, the last stream and the one before it. Ooh, look what happened to White Roos. White Roos. It's kind of growing growing big. Yeah, let's do a quick quick look. I thought it was little. It got small. I, thought, I think it lost some territory. Oh, it's up here. Here's where most of it is. Oh, okay. Are they the same one? Sometimes there's two. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. Sometimes uh, there's a white Rus and a white Russia. Oh, yeah. That is odd. Uh, yeah. India hasn't been sort of unified. Um, the Seljuks are doing good over here. Yeah. Uh, let's check in. She has... Oh, oh, this new Byzantine lady has got a good they, army for once. I mean, they're, they're, they're hard to kill. Certified hard to kill. Yeah, Byzantines. figured it out. Um... Like, I like this new table that the DLC got me. Look at that. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, This has been Friends at the Table. This has been Friends at the Table streaming Crusader Kings. As Keith said earlier, you can go to our Patreon at friendsatthetable.cash if you like the show. If you have, hey, if you have an Amazon Prime Twitch subscription and you're interested in, in kicking it over to us, we would, we would, we would love that. That would be great. Um, but because of the way that uh, Twitch subscriptions work, if you're thinking of paying for a Twitch subscription to us, uh, your money would be better served supporting us on Patreon. Yeah. Um, it's been a while since I, I gave the, the breakdown, but uh, the way that it works is that if you give us $5 on Twitch, we get $2.50. If you give us $5 on Patreon, I think we get $4 and 50 cents or four dollars and yeah i think we have four dollars and 50 cents but in any case um this has been a huge amount of fun and we will see you next time goodbye bye Hey, we're still here, actually. Uh, you yeah. should listen to Media Club Plus, because it We forgot rules. to tell you. We've got to tell you about Media Club Plus. It's a podcast that Jack and I do with Sylvie and Dre, also on Friends of the Table, where we watch Hunter Hunter and talk about it at length. At length. It's at great. Length. Yeah, it's great. It's been really good so far. We're, I think we've recorded 17 episodes, and there's 14 episodes that are released you can go to mediaclub.plus or search for it in your podcast app i watched uh i watched an episode of me of uh, hunter hunter that i didn't enjoy very much and that happens sometimes and it usually happens at the beginning of this is Takashi's mm. trick he will he, he his wheel starts to move slowly and then after a bit it just starts spinning extremely quickly i'm wondering um, which episode it is um i can tell you I can tell okay. you, Keith. Right. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't that I didn't like it very much. It was just a, it was a it was, its pace felt really notable, compared sure. to where we where we had been. Uh, the episode that I thought was just all right was fifty five. Fifty five. Oh, okay. Um. 
how did I feel about 55? I like 55. Yeah. But it's yeah, right. it's it's uh it's we've had two major climaxes in a season, which is rare. I think that there it's like two of the biggest climaxes that we've had in a season. And this is like the third kind of reset in yeah. one arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely uh, what is, I was feeling, I yeah. think. But yeah, Media Club Plus, it's a lot yeah. of fun. And now, goodbye. Goodbye.